We loved uh, Jacktober so much that we're kind of bringing it back here and there. Don't worry, not every day, but maybe once every two, three weeks. Right? Yeah. yeah it's, uh, you know, there's just too much gold out there on the airwaves, though. We need a to, real good uh, name uh, for this feature. Yeah. yeah. There is too much gold. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, it's fine. It's just it's, it's, it's a bevy yeah. of entertaining radio out there, and we ought to uh, showcase it. Should we just call it Shit Radio? I like Why get shit fancy? radio. Why get fancy yeah. with the name when we could just call it Shit Radio from around An the country? An episode of Shit Radio. Yeah. What is this bit of um, well, shit? Well, Sam is saying this is worse than um, anything no, we I did. said better. Better but, as ah. better meaning worse? That is a bold statement. Yes. Because we had some pretty good bad stuff. Bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of everything we played during Jocktober, this is my favorite. Wow. This is better than anything we played in Jocktober? I prefer this to anything we played in He prefers Jocktober. this. All okay, right, so right, it's more sarcastic. shitty. Uh, well, Anthony, it's our old station once again. <laughs> well, you know, how they, how, how, how they didn't want to, you know, continue with us, even though we were doing uh, quite well. Wait, we Ke did our jobs. Kevin mm -hmm. from Connecticut uh, says uh, radiocrity. Radiocrity? If, if, we were, if we weren't going for something dirty, filthy, and to the point, radiocrity is pretty funny. Cause it's just, but this is worse than mediocre. Radioocrity. Radioocrity. No, shit radio. It's got to be shit radio. I, I, like, I like the name, it, though, Kevin. But I like it, but it's just not It's not shitty enough. No, it's And, and Voss won't be able to radio. say it. No, 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 no. Radio. Radio. The radio atrocity. <laughs> Never forget. Shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we don't. God. Never forget, people. <laughs> and without a drug or drink for 20 <laughs> years uh, or a thought. Well, I love yeah. how Bob is shocked. We hang out with him. I know. Oh, it's just so that. funny. Because okay, we have the same it, story. It's like me going, oh, I saved a baby. Just say, good night, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Good night. I saved a baby. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> well, shit radio, sure. It's our old station. Yeah. You know, they're doing nothing after we left, which is amazing. I thought they had some kind of plan. They got where, now. Where? Oh, this is uh, our old station. Oh, well, I ninety two three now. now. Oh, okay, because it's happening now. Now. Right now. 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 It's going out of business now. Now. <laughs> Should it I just, sucks now. <laughs> Should I just play the first? Well, I mean, track without explaining. I could alert what's a little bit of what's right, go ahead, going Sam. on, and this is kind of a serious thing that somebody broke in. To the 92.3 Now uh, promotions office? No. And wow, did they? To get the new Aerosmith song? Yeah. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no they had, uh, as most radio no, stations no, do, $10,000 in cash. Oh, yeah. In yeah. the office. They always keep it in the office. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So with a bunch hard of cash later yeah. on? Yeah. These <laughs> radio stations aren't normally just filled with scales <laughs> right. and fucking low lives and dregs of society. <laughs> How about this? They couldn't afford to keep us on, but they have ten thousand dollars cash around. 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 Please listen yeah. to us. We couldn't get yeah, we couldn't get bumper stickers. We couldn't get T-shirts, <laughs> but they got ten large just sitting in a drawer somewhere that someone could just steal. Yeah. Well, uh oh, they decided to uh, mention this on the air. Tic Tac and the Freak Show, of course, the afternoon show. I think I work with Tac at one of these diners I'm doing up. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Tac. So Tic Tac brought Why it up. Why did they mention that there was this money laying around? I guess. No, no, no. I'm, it's not there anymore. It's oh, not lying around shit. anymore. That's what they brought up. Did somebody, the money get stolen? Somebody broke in uh -huh. and stole it. Wow. All $10,000. And the jocks are wanna, not happy. I want to see how they handle this because... Uh, Why are they doing like 1950s wow. radio? <laughs> this is like 1950s. I would call that person the winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. exactly. Well, so, all right, well, Tic Tac yeah. breaks the news. Someone stole 10000 from the Now <sighs> FM prize room. Listen to this, Ant. This is shit radio. All right, 92.3 now. It's Tic Tac. Sorry. I... <laughs> This has been oh, okay. oh, 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 right oh, off the oh, bat. Oh, the oh, acting oh, chops. Oh, yeah. there. Oh, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm wrong kind, wrong kind. I just hung up the phone. <laughs> you're not. Oh, you're not gonna believe this one. He's <laughs> flabbergasted. Right, right. He's flabbergasted through the echoey fucking sound right, right. that they put on the I mic. Had to now. rent a car. But, <laughs> but he made sure he played the proper amount of music before of course, he broke yeah, the yeah. big news, right? Yeah, Instead yeah. of like breaking into whatever yeah. fucking record was playing, I'd be like just. It's the fucking money. It's right. more important to play the music. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do this at seven? Tw oh, it's the afternoons three twenty. Oh, this, this is, is at. So uh, I would bet this was five twenty. This is a five twenty break. Is set. it? I believe this is actually 
three Ooh. on the dot. That's not smart. Well, they got to start it, maybe. Maybe yeah, it continues right. a while. All right. All right. I, I, oh. This has been a crazy day. We have the Bieber thing going on. Uh, the, what, the, with the Bieber thing, too? This the Bieber happened. thing. <laughs> Holy and shit. And Andy remembered to hit the, the bed music, too. Because so, he would so get in important. trouble if he doesn't talk over a bed. <laughs> Even if I think disgusting. if 10,000 was missing, I think the PD would go, you know what? I, I, it's okay you didn't talk over the bed. Yeah, just make an announcement. Yeah, right. Maybe the Bieber ate it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened with the Bieber? <laughs> wow, this is, uh, we can't get through two seconds. A crazy day. We have the Bieber thing going on, and then um, our vice president of marketing, Jody, walks in. She's crying. She's in tears. You've just joined us. Somebody actually stole. Not our Jody. I don't know. And I'm sorry uh, that this knowledge got out, uh, but this is what happened. Somebody stole $10,000 cash. How, how is he sorry the knowledge got out if he's saying it on the air? <laughs> I'm sorry this knowledge got out, but now I'm going to say it over the airwaves. So over 50,000 watts of air. So another 2,000 people now. <laughs> yeah, this is, no one's listening. Dude, this is so hack, uh, bad, fucking, typical radio that, that but they thought this, radio. They're going, this is going to be huge oh, when we <laughs> announce this is, with the beaver and the, the missing money but. they must have had uh. talking about this and and spelling it out and saying how look you really got to play this up now guys don't you know, Jesus. don't you know, We'll bring Jody we in it. crying later. She'll okay. come in crying. So it's she's not. gonna be crying. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh. act like flabbergasted. Jody is oh. not on the air. So. Oh, thank God. Uh, I, I, whichever I, I Jody is, Jody. Jody. I don't know. You remember Jody? Do I? Oh, please remember her at least. I remember she was anybody really cool to us. <laughs> in my wake. I don't remember. I look over the bow, not the fucking stern. <laughs> I fucking don't care what I'm leaving in my prop wash. <laughs> Poor Jody was left there to deal with this shit. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. She's she's eight. But this is what happened. Somebody stole ten thousand dollars cash in broad daylight from our radio station. Ten thousand dollars. And so now we're looking, but yeah, what? You looking. have to take this call. What line? Five. Somebody wants to talk? What? All right, hello. <laughs> Tora, who the hell did you just uh -huh. uh, no, they're gonna take a call <laughs> out of all this fucking madness. Ten thousand was it was a big robbery. Hold on, we got a call. Holy shit, somebody's calling off the show. Pick up, pick up. There's one caller. We gotta get him on. Uh, someone's requesting a song, the, the new Miley Cyrus song. We got a call. Yeah, it's a radio station. So yeah, we, we, we got a call. Is that You're getting, talking. Right. You're probably getting uh, well a dozen an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come rolling it. This is so bad. This could be uh, the worst ever. Wait a uh. minute. Uh, I'm getting uh, Sean, the producer, is saying they did this exact bit on 1041 in Hartford. This is probably oh, shit. It's one of those fucking bits. This is a, that a bit that an agency yeah, 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 puts yeah. out, and they come with a consultant, Unless, uh, and they sit with the staff and tell them how to why? work it. Unless there's a burglar that's going from station to station stealing all their <laughs> money. I think it's a serial money. Stealer, I think that's a guy. little more realistic. You don't, you don't think he wants to be the ten call of this guy, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna fucking take all the money. Hacks, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, I right. love this. I love how bad this is. I love hating shit like this. All right, let's listen. The acting is terrible. Well, listen, really to, bad. Listen to the phone call thing. Again. Louis being so now we're phone. looking, but yeah, what? 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 You have to take this call. What line? Five. Five. Somebody wants to talk. <laughs> all right, hello. Hello, who is that? Tora, who the hell did you just put through? <gasps> who is it? Who the hell did you just put through? Now he's getting angry. No, you who see? the hell did you put through? <laughs> the hell, Mr. That, Fabish, right, right. Is yeah. he, are you on the phone? That was either a Beaver or Rich Voss. <laughs> Mr. Fabisham, you'll bring back that money. Bring back that money. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. You know it wasn't the fifth caller. Uh, it was the first caller. $10,000 and my string of Peloponnese. <laughs> Well, well Tic Tac uh, talks to the mysterious caller. Now, this mysterious yeah. caller, does this in any way uh, fit in with the money missing? Or well, I mean, you see, it? very, it's very suspicious. He's using a voice yes, modulator, there is some kind of weird voice thing going on. Could it be? Oh my God! The criminal calling in. Mm. Stop! And he has throat cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I have your money. Oh, I, oh. I know a radio guy that stole a half billion, but uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Is he going to give that away? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. We're just talking Luck. about Now FM. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I couldn't help just myself. 92.3, now. 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 Yeah, let's talk about now. now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tic Tac. I was only joking. Now, Tic Tac. Yeah, let's go to Tic Tac. Talking to the, the mysterious show. caller. Oh, no, 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 no. Talk to me. Yes, this is Tic Tac. Who is this? This is your new friend. Are you having a bad day? A little trouble at the radio station? I don't know who the hell this is, but I don't really have time to talk to you right now. I have time. I have... Why doesn't he have time to talk to him right he now? Stop yeah. going on. See, this is the thing. Tic Tac. You can't gonna... put two and two together and realize, wait a minute. Ten thousand dollars is missing, and this really strange call just came in. Tic Tac in the free yeah, show. Maybe you should take the call and figure yeah. out if it has something to do with. The... But the reason he doesn't have time to talk right now is because something big is happening. Oh, this is none so of it bad. makes sense. <laughs> Look, the it's thing is so bad. Tic Tac and the free show. They like to have fun on their show and get a little wild. Yeah, That's I see. Mouth. Okay. Well, I'm this just saying that control. Sometimes it gets a little too serious, though, when you start yeah. talking about stealing ten thousand dollars. Who the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Time. I have lots of time. I have 10,000 units of time. <laughs> what? Who designed the security system at your radio station? Are you the one that took the $10,000? Well, fuck is such a vague term, but I do have it. You took the $10,000. Yeah, that's what uh, I said. I said yeah. it three times. Yeah, well, he, <laughs> yeah that's look, what that I, I thing am, is saying. I am no Olivier by any <laughs> sense of the imagination, but this motherfucker <laughs> is so utterly bad. So and, you're telling me. <laughs> and, look, I, I, I don't have time for this. I know of a radio duo that... Uh, Gave away a hundred grand once. Well, yeah, <laughs> I do too. See, how I just saved our asses, <sighs> sort of. <laughs> All right, let's this get back to this. This is so bad. The ninety, the nine two three now fugitive explains to Tic Tac what he wants. His demands are very ready for this ant radio friendly. <laughs> Thank God for the station, right? So it's nothing about you know uh, somebody's life is in danger or <laughs> well. Believe it or not, some of his demands could actually increase, like, TSL. Oh, so wow. Time spent listening. Oh, so that, right. yeah, that could be Let's great. see what his demands are. <laughs> and I know of and a how the jock, uh, you know, uh, uh, t- uh, takes the demand. Yes. And I know of a, a fat fuck radio host that once gave away a toy Yoda. Hey, toy a, Yoda. A toy Yoda. <laughs> and it was a little Yoda doll, Star Wars action figure. We're giving away a toy Yoda. <laughs> and he had to say it that way, too. Toyota. Toyota. <laughs> Why are you saying Toyota so funny? No, not Toyota. A Toyota. <laughs> You're going to get me screwed, dude. What was the other one? There's another one. Oh, God it'll damn. Come to him. All right, listen to this. Tic Tac. Do you understand the moment you walked out of this door with the $10,000 that you stole out of the safe, you became a criminal, a fugitive? Whoa, hey, idiot, shut up. I think you got it. I'm the fugitive. The 92.3 now $10,000 fugitive. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got a name. <laughs> wouldn't you name yourself if you stole from a radio station? <laughs> wouldn't you name yourself after the radio station? And I'd call oh. back and let him know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be knee deep, deep in dead hookers right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Please. God. I'm the 92.3 <laughs> now $10,000 oh, fugitive. But, Anthony, do you know that when you left that building, you became a criminal? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, huh? Exactly. Uh-huh. Aren't radio guys supposed to be cool? Like, you'd be like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, uh, spend it in good health, yeah, you ain't, motherfucker. Ain't my yeah. money. Hey, my send me half, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, why is the DJ fucking pissed off? Know, it's not his money. It's not yeah. his money. <laughs> And the uh, oh, is the fugitive t- speaks slowly so that even though he's got a voice modulator, the important branding messages like his name are clear for everybody. All right, let's listen. Could you repeat that for me, please? You're a fugitive. No, I'm the 92.3 now $10,000 fugitive. The 92.3 now $10,000 fugitive. Now bring back the money. Now. No, no, no. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little game. Tomorrow morning, 
This is New York. We will catch you by 10 a.m. Well, he's from New York, not Detroit, hi, so he knows. Hi, hi, hi. He's this a New Yorker. This is awful. The, the, I, am I have speechless. never, I have never in all my years, and believe me, we heard Rocco's show, yeah. heard anything so blatantly fake and stupid, <laughs> embarrassing on the radio. <laughs> bra bombing. Shit. Bra bombing better than this. I know a radio duo. Oh. <laughs> yes. This could be the worst fucking radio bit yeah, I've ever heard. But when we were being hacked, we were doing it in small market shit. Yeah. This is the New York City supposed to be the big time for radio. Uh, yeah. So if you guys had stayed at 923 now, you wouldn't have played along with What do you think, Sam? I What do you think? What do you think that oh, meeting would have been like? Here what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Give me the answer, Sam. I thought you guys were more like company guys. Say, oh yeah, good. Okay, so the fugitive calls yeah. in when? Yeah. Well, okay, let me give great. you a little example if that was <laughs> the fact okay. and we still okay. were doing it. <laughs> oh, I have Greg. Good. We got shit to do, so just fucking, you know, do, do what you want to do. Yeah, bring the money uh, back. By tomorrow. the way, our promotions uh, staff sucks. They came up with this lame idea. We're giving away ten thousand uh, dollars. <laughs> Shut up! He hangs up. He just hangs up on him. <laughs> That's oh, how it would go. So, sounds like we've worked together for a while. Uh, well, fucking so at, at WNAW. They, they uh, want to do the, uh, what was it called then? <laughs> the Revolution of Rock? No, the, uh, what the fuck was the oh, big the Evolution slug? of the, the evolution, Rock of New York. The Evolution uh. of the Rock in New York. But they bring us in because they're going to blow up the place. And we want to just do our talk shit. It's like mm -hmm. a big retrospective of all the years so, that they've been so at the Rock Station. All the other jocks were really into it because they were music guys. And me and Ant, every afternoon, just beat the shit out <laughs> of the fact that we had to do this. We refused to play certain songs because they're too faggy. We were, we were breaking CDs. And this was all real. Not, none of this fucking fake acting shit. We were out of our minds. <laughs> Getting in fights. We were calling telling it. the cleaning lady that she has to push the next button because we're not playing. We're not Do you playing think Rod I'm Stewart, sexy? Yeah. <laughs> By Rod Stewart. It, we're calling it the air pollution of the Rock of New York. <laughs> right. It was just it's, that. It was bad. amazing. So yeah, like oh. Ann said, we would never play along with this shit ever. This is the serious Uh, this is more like it. Stay on the line. <laughs> Boy, I, I, would hate, I would hate for some kind of character to call the Ron and Fez show today with some demands. <laughs> oh. That would really, really suck. Oh. That would really, oh, really no. suck. Oh. <laughs> are they off today? I know uh, Cheech and Chong are around here. I think Ronnie's talking to Cheech and Chong. Oh, they're doing today. the... Uh... But that was early. Oh, okay. So oh, they, they might, might be not doing be the off. show? Yeah, oh, okay. Well, this morning. they are go-getters. All right, yeah. here we go. The Fugitive is also planning on calling at 1, 3, and 6, <laughs> Monday through Friday. Yeah. <laughs> not just 10 a.m. Uh, oh, oh, is he? He's mm. going to call at set times? Oh, yeah. Mon Wouldn't the yeah. police be monitoring those calls <laughs> right. that he's saying exactly when he's calling in? <laughs> and then I'll call back at 1 o'clock. And then I'll call back at 3 o'clock. And then I'll call back at 6 o'clock. And then I'll have a nice weekend, and on Monday, I'll do it again. Repeat after me. Ten, <laughs> one, three, you got it. six. Maybe that's a clue right there. Who knows? I could be anybody. I could be that weird guy in the cubicle next to you. Toro, trace this number. Like trace the number, Toro. Wait, wait, wait. Trace the number. I could be that there? Hold guy on. on the subway who always reads the foreign magazines. That's for you to find out. Are there um, a tracing? Uh, uh, is there tracing equipment at the studio? Mm. I don't remember uh, no. us being no. able to no. trace a phone we call. A, we had a you could old, hang up old phone system. I guess you could dial star six nine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's tracing. No, we actually had one of those old fucking phone things. Yeah. Yeah. Then you hit the button. Yeah, and... all that shit. Yeah, we didn't. When we were at the oh. station, there was no. Oh, they also tracing. And they also does uh, do this promotion in Rhode Island as well. All the radio oh, stations. Did? Yeah, are coming. They're, they're coming forward now. Sounds like a cat they burglar. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. FM's making a comeback. <laughs> yeah, this, this is putting it over the top. I'm getting out there. This Die, is gonna fuckers. Put regular radio right back uh, where it belongs. Well, <laughs> least, shitter. Then I guess what? They move on to the next uh, jock. Well, he said he was going to call in at ten o'clock the next morning. Oh, so shit. Lisa Page. 
who we all know from her oh, great so Jay Z been... interview. All oh, right, oh, right, right. She's right. just <laughs> she's doing her show, and all of a sudden, make no. believe there's no no <laughs> nothing going on. Now, until, didn't they until... know at ten o'clock this guy was calling? He said it enough times. Well, luckily she tells her audience about the incident with the ten thousand oh, dollars. Okay, and right as that happens, she gets the mysterious. She was phone upset call. too, right? She was very upset. Oh, yeah. New York, New York, New York, New York. $10,000 was stolen from our marketing department. And um, More good acting. we yeah. have no idea who did it, but um, it happened in broad daylight. And the money was supposed to be used for the Yankees Day Parade today. It was $10,000. It was all that was left in our... The Yankees Day Parade? Which you what? guys... Are you fucking kidding me? They couldn't come up with a better reason <laughs> A better reason for the 10000 What were they going to spend 10000 on? Huh. Well, that's never put out there maybe a the Yankees day per, what did they talk like about they have, put they 10, no, out they for have anything. absolutely no creativity 92 3 no. nobody listen to us float yeah yeah, yeah, yeah now <laughs> i don't even know who the pd is these days over there but imagine that guy's just like giving him a pep talk yeah oh, it's going great man this is good we got people they're gonna be listening keep in mind taking their acting you know. how long ago was the yankee parade Fuck, dude, I don't know. Two weeks ago? It was, okay, a, it was after I drank my dad's cum from, you know, from the tweeted thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was tweeting. I was a little angry. <laughs> yes. that, was when the, uh, that was when the promotion started. So since the Yankee parade, yeah. the fugitive's been calling in Monday oh, through shit. Friday. Enough with the fugitive. At 10, 10 one, 1, 3, and 6. And I, six. I'll give him fucking promotion today. I don't care. Let's all listen and see if we can Ugh. figure out who he is. Hey, parade today. It was ten thousand dollars. It was all that was left in our budget. So we don't know, like, how it happened, who did it, how they got even access to the building. I don't know, but what? Go on the line. Oh. Hello. Hello, Lisa. It's nice to meet you. Yo, who is this? Well, she if you were listening, <laughs> <laughs> there's only one person that can be, you dumb twat. Wouldn't the police be there waiting for yeah. the 10 o'clock call, first of all? Yeah, we've all seen the old school movies. And, and, and oh, they hung up too quickly. Should <laughs> <laughs> have kept them on another two keep seconds. Them keep them on, keep them on, keep them on. Keep them on. Yeah. Thing, like, keep right, it going, right, keep right. it going. And, and, and then she just doesn't know the voice. She didn't hear <laughs> the fucking tick and tack show what or whatever. Mean, the, who's this? The thing is, she started talking. Talking about the ten thousand dollar as a coincidence at ten o'clock, she didn't realize she was going to oh, be getting a getting call. The call. And then she's like, "Who's just this?" Just as she started that talk, so maybe break. that's why she was confused, right? Yeah, because it was all spontaneous. Who's oh, who is this? <laughs> you dumb cunt! <laughs> Don't you realize the voice? What is it? Everyone call like this to request one of these stupid techno punk shit songs? <laughs> it's the ninety-three <laughs> now ten thousand dollar fugitive. <laughs> The guy that stole the money. Yeah, the guy that stole the money, guy. <laughs> they, they had to settle on that name. <laughs> what are you talking about? They had a long, drawn-out fucking she, name. That, Nobody's calling in. Right, except no, for this no. one guy. But two <laughs> days. Yes. Okay. Can everyone... All right, here's a homework assignment. I want everyone out there to buy a bullhorn and start calling this station <laughs> around the clock. Ah, <laughs> as other fugitives. It's yes. 5.30. You can't be the fugitive. <laughs> I, I am, six. yeah. <laughs> uh. Yo, who is this? Well, if you were listening to that old who was on after you yesterday, then I think you know who I am. I'm your new BFF. Her new BFF. Yes, yes, and of course I'm sure it's... <laughs> The 92. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> oh, God. You can hit a wrecking ball going through that building right now. That's fucking over. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> over. <It's> done. <laughs> uh, well, Anthony, good news. The fugitive lets Lisa know what he's doing with the money. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't wait for her acting. <laughs> you know, she's oh, going to yes. be like, be very you good. can't do that. <laughs> Yo, what's what's the deal? I Yo. did hear a little bit of this yesterday. <laughs> so oh. you have you have $10,000 of our money that we were supposed to use towards the Yankees' big parade promotion that we were doing. That's all we had left. And you- yes, well, here's the deal. They haven't spent ten thousand dollars on anything. <laughs> That's just hysterical. They don't I love have taking the, the people money. inside this shit. <laughs>
Well, we were there, what, two years? They might have spent $100 on us. <laughs> For real. For and real. Like, and like they're going to blow I think they bought us breakfast on once. And went, uh, uh, <laughs> hope you're not too hungry because this is all we can afford. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I love this. I am embarrassed for this fucking station. And why? Embarrassed. <laughs> Somebody stole their $10,000. <laughs> All right, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you're an asshole. We get it. You're an asshole. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh let's hear this. That we were doing. That's all we had left. And you... Yes, well, here's the deal. I, I introduced myself last night, and I'm going to talk to the people at the radio station about what happened last night. Okay. And And ask the exact phrase: yes. Are you the ninety-two-three now ten thousand dollar fugitive? When the thing is, you gotta keep listening because every time he calls in, he gives a clue as to who he might be, who he is, and then you have to find you him know, on the street, dude. What? You have to find the guy on the street and oh my God, say dude, that. This is too much work. But because... he's a criminal. Why would I want to, <laughs> would the would... police be a little leery about civilians just walking up to a, yeah. a, a thief like that? God, I hope one of their listeners uh, walks up to a gangbang and <laughs> yeah. gets shot. Did in the you fucking... steal the money? Yes, I did, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, now you're a witness, bitch. Bam, <laughs> shot in the head. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about the homicide. <laughs> A lot of Kevin from Connecticut. This bit might have worked in 1979. Exactly. This is and, and the one thing you learn radio. when you do radio that you you have to keep it fucking simple when you're giving shit away. That's why oh seventh my God. just seventh call you get blank. Yeah. yeah. Uh, word of the day is blank. When we tell you to call, just know the word of the day. Now when, I, I I I couldn't follow what they were saying. Yeah, they just begging for listeners for the whole week or month. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, they're yeah. just saying please. If you find this fugitive. Yeah. On the street, and you ask him properly, and he says yes, then you get to keep the ten thousand dollars. And since he stole it, and then he gave it to you, now it's yours. Sam, can we make E Rock our fugitive? Yes. <laughs> have, you <laughs> seen, have you seen E Rock on the street? <laughs> and if you ask him wrong, he's going to ass fuck you. Yes. Are you the tenth? Right, and the right way is. Are you the 92 three now? $10,000 fugitive. Lisa, could you repeat that, please? Wait, so you're telling me that you you just want random people to come up to you and and, and ask, are you the 92 three now $10,000 fugitive? And just like that, you're going to give the money back? I thought you'd be the one who would be trustworthy and would believe in me. Holy shit, this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. God. <sighs> <laughs> I gotta get on my knees, Ed. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. On his knees praying. Because I know how these okay. lawyers are. Oh, how, please. How, this, please. how do you hope this plays out? Oh, that some the wrong person is asked if they're the fugitive. Just like we joked about, by the way. Yeah. That's all it's going to And they're going to say, who the fuck are you calling the fugitive? Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to punch you in the fucking face. face. Just because I'm Hispanic doesn't mean yeah. I'm a motherfucking fugitive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a disaster waiting to oh, happen. Oh, please. please. We should just go out. And this the, is going on right now. We should just go out on the street right now and assault someone and go, oh, fuck, we thought it was the future. I thought it was yeah. the future. I'm yeah. trying to get your money back. I'm doing We're good, right? with you. We did good, right? <laughs> we fucking... He didn't have the money on him, We though. zip-stripped his hands behind his back, kicked him a few times, tuned him up. He talked. He said it was him yeah. after we kicked him so, in the face a few times. So, and I, I think we have to... Okay, I think we have to fast forward to the next day. Yeah, well, it's like the wow. next Monday. The next Monday, wow. Lisa. Okay, dragging his I think you're gonna hear Lisa again, but now this is after yeah. the weekend or something. Now that we've set everything up, I just threw in a couple of the fugitives' calls over the past week. All or so. right. Wow, you've been working on this one for a while. Mother. Well, mm. I mean, and now we got to keep following him. So, oh please, I know where I'll be at ten, one, three, and six p.m. <laughs> Dude, 
more, wanna, more fugitive shit. Let's you just go outside like and this, tackle this somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be so fucking fun. Well, the fugitive, thought it was them. the fugitive has been messing with Lisa Page. Yeah. He thought Lisa Page was being impolite to him. And so at one point he made her go out on the street because otherwise he wouldn't have given the money back. Uh -oh. So she had to stand out on the sidewalk, on the sidewalk with a sign on her that says, I heart Barry Manilow. Whoa. Of all the embarrassing things. <laughs> of course, luckily the sign also Why said, the future of saying, I, Lisa I Page heart from 92.3 I now. heart and words. <laughs> <laughs> We traced oh, wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> We traced the future to phone call. It's coming from the studio. <laughs> 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 what are the odds that the fugitive is Tom Chiasano? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bore you to death with a meeting. Tom, <laughs> Tom would have never allowed this to happen. No, <laughs> this is so hack. All right, so well, the following Monday, you hear Lisa again <laughs> fooling around with the fugitive. Yeah. Huh? Hello, Lisa. Oh, it's you again. How was your weekend? Well, it would be better if we could just find this freaking money. Why Can you just give it the money back? To why, would that, why would that affect her weekend? Why does yeah. it matter? No one would. Could you? Why would she think, have a bad weekend over let's this? Let's picture this. We at work at that radio station. <laughs> someone comes in and goes, "Holy shit, dude! Someone stole fucking ten grand. Cool. Some idiot left ten grand <laughs> yeah. in the fucking marketing office, and someone stole. You know what we'd do? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Some idiot. Dummy, so fired, completely fired. Exactly. Someone getting fired. Although, oh, I need help from an AF listener. Oh, what band had their whole fucking van stolen? And we actually all afternoon long was trying to find their van, and it, by the end of the show we. <laughs> I'm doing a drum solo out of the 12. <laughs> yeah. Someone's got to help us out. The band became pretty fucking famous, and uh, their van was stolen. By the end of our show, I swear to God, they found it in a horrendous neighborhood, and nothing was left. Yeah, God. And, and they even called us like, I really appreciate the help, but unfortunately, you know, it doesn't have a happy ending. But thanks anyway, guys. That's we'll it. see you next time we're in town. I forgot the fucking band. Yeah. And there's the picture of Lisa Page. Like, there's no one on the street. My name no is Lisa Page. Shit. I work for 92. <laughs> there is no I one. I love Barry Manilow. What? There's no one around. But there are less people than on a normal day in New York. And can I tell you something? She looks like someone that would probably enjoy a Barry Manilow song. Yeah. So what's the big fucking deal? And thank God the fugitive allowed her to plug her name and station on the humiliating sign. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. three people on two blocks. In yeah, New York yeah. City. This is and this is supposed to be a big thing. Like people are like, Wow, she's gonna be outside. I gotta see this. You think a lot of people are asking who the fugitive is? <laughs> no, I didn't no! even <laughs> We're in radio, I didn't even hear about this dumb thing. Are you I the ninety two three now fugitive? Maybe Sam. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. What are they trying to make like an action movie? Yeah. Kind of like, oh, look at we're making he's making them do things. And... <laughs> I oh. want you to stick a big black dildo in your cunt <laughs> yeah. in front of the building. <laughs> Go to the adult toy shop and get something called the anal intruder. No, no, put the lid down. You won't be needing or using that. Shove it dry up your hiney hole. <laughs> going over time today, Dan. Uh, have the boys figured out. Sorry to Ronnie uh, But they have a long day anyway. They got the chicken chunks. <laughs> oh, my I'm sure Ronnie would mind a little breaking action. I just can't action. believe how there's nobody, there's nobody on the street for yeah, two blocks. For I a get big there. radio promotion. Oh, Look, and she wow. really looks like someone that would fucking maybe would listen to some Barry. I mean, he's got hits. I'm sure she's listened to a few of them. Who gives a shit? dog named Bagel. Like a logger up dead. The fucking fugitive <laughs> rules. Get more of this shit. All right, so let's go back to the audience. We can just find this freaking money. Can you just give it the money back? Just give the money back already. Oh, God. Whoa. God. I didn't even ask you that question. I actually was pretending like I cared. You're not going to get away with this. We're going to get you. 
The clue. Well, no. What was no. the clue? <laughs> it said, uh, so I thought he said something. He's contagious. It said, "Don't." I said, they're, uh, they're, they're, "Don't ask anyone you know who dressed up for Halloween." I was still contagious, so it was someone who was sick at Halloween and didn't dress up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's who. That's the but, clue. But is it someone that works there? Yeah, then know. how would? But 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 how would the listeners know, right. know that? that? Yeah, they're they not have, at the fucking party. They would have to give a shit about what they're hearing. Like who's gonna win? Someone that works at the station and goes, <laughs> "Oh, that's Bill. He's <laughs> fucking <laughs> over there in accounting." That was his stupid might, idea. Yeah. Give him the money. It could be anyone, literally. How about somebody that's... who works at the gas how? station or the radio station or a celebrity? But how would or... anyone know if the guy at the gas station didn't dress up for Halloween and was contagious? <laughs> you have yeah. to ask. And how about this stupid company <laughs> uses the ten thousand dollars to get a jock that just says interesting shit? Yeah, yeah. there you go. They could hire a morning Creed. show. Hire a morning show for ten motherfucker ten thousand dollars. And it was fucking Creed when they were on their Creed. way up. It was, it was Creed. Creed. It was fucking Creed, man. Creed. Maybe. You were all right, wow. to us. I know a lot of people make fun of that. That's that. What's his name? Scott. One of them could wow. be the fugitive. But they were all right, to us back. <laughs> One of back Creed. Then. It could be. <laughs> it was Creed. It could be <laughs> with the van thing that we were talking about. All right, uh, Tic Tac. Now we're back to Tic Tac. Oh, Tic Tac. Because he's remember he's calling all day long, so Tic Tac's getting the calls too. He's and had nine days to work his chop, <laughs> his acting chops too. So I'm going to want to hear what he sounds like uh, now. Good Probably shit. Probably going to be good now. I bet. Listen, you cunt. Oh, Stephen S. from Bayshore makes a very good point. Don't be mean. Oh, all 17 of 92.3 now's Twitter followers are trying to trying hard to find the future. 92.3 <laughs> <17. laughs> now. I am Tic Tac, and apparently the fugitive man is on the phone. Fugitive man. How do you know I'm not a fugitive lady gaga? I could be anything. You're being presumptuous. <laughs> you know, I don't have a gang. A mob. Or a crew, you might want to ask friends who drink diet, Mountain Dew, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. Bye bye, Mr. Tic Tac. I'll talk to you in three hours. Has anybody. If you're nice. That's You're, a good hint. And the voice effect sucks. So you, uh, if you really wanted to try to get into this, you, don't, you can't it. even fucking understand. Just have a normal have guy shit. talk on it. Right. Like, like, oh, I'm the that yeah. picture of her on the street is it's the so saddest <laughs> thing I've ever oh seen in radio. I want to find her and give her a hug yeah. and say it'll be okay. Just whisper in her ear and go, look. I know this sucks. Just show your twat. Look, they'll yeah. give you more money. Yeah, just mar a better time marry slot. a guy with money and get out of yeah. the business. <laughs> just right. leave this business. It's, it's going to tear you to pieces. <laughs> Look what it's doing you're to you. Fucking di I've seen fucking strippers blow smoke out of their twat <laughs> and have more dignity <laughs> than you do right now with that sign around your neck. And nobody around. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no one there. Nobody. This dumb station is stupid enough to put it on their website. Somebody <laughs> could have raped her, Look, and nobody would have yeah, came to her no, defense. Look, we've been in situations where people don't show up. You just don't show those pictures, you dummies. <laughs> Do I have to explain everything? <laughs> They have a but picture of the website where it's just her by herself on a street corner with no one giving a crap. And the guy crossing the street on the sign. That's it. Right. That's the only yeah. other person there. But you can Photoshop people in there yeah. these days. Help her out. You can, yeah. we, they have, like, those dumb fucking street teamers. Make believe they're fucking yeah, people walk around. on the street. You guys did you, but you, I feel like you missed his last hint. I really did. I think Mountain Dew. Well, he drinks said Mountain Dew. He doesn't have a crew, so he doesn't have, like, a group of friends, and he drinks... Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew. You know who drinks Diet Soda and doesn't have a lot of friends? Who? Iraq. So. Oh, oh should that's be something Iraq. who could be. Ask him. I will. I'm Ask going to. Iraq if he... Wait, who's the fat... you got to say it the right way. Who's the fat fuck over there? Chunky. All right, it's Chunky. You think oh, so? Yeah, it's Chunky. <laughs> Chunky's the fugitive. Is that why he doesn't really take the... Oh, that's why he calls it six and doesn't call it in the nighttime. It's chunky. Yeah, but that's dinner time. He wouldn't call it dinner. Because that's gonna be this <laughs> that's gonna be the big reveal that it was an inside job by Chunky. It was Chunky. And oh, chunky sucks. <laughs> chunky set it up by maybe saying something like, Oh God, I was so sick for Halloween, I wanted to go out and Oh, that's a good question. I'd do a little research. Oh, do a little that. research. Find out if, if Chunky I will did. bet uh, I will just bet because <laughs> they'll hold me to but it. But what if someone it just walks chunky. up to Chunky it's before the promotion's chunky. over? 
there's a fat fuck over there. That what if probably someone, drinks Diet what, Mountain Dew. What but, if someone walks up to Chunky now and asks him? Then, you know, he's got to go, go away, go away. We're not ready to do this yet. Well, do you yeah. think they usher him in the building surrounded by people that, like, punch the listeners away from him? <laughs> Hi, are you the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you two stand back. Yeah, stand back. <laughs> Chunky's coming out. Sam, I don't care about this, so I'm going to forget about it. But just, yeah. you know, just remind me that I said it was Chunky. Okay. When, Wait, when the time comes. And nobody's going to ask Chunky. And I don't even, okay. Nobody knows who Chunky is. Yeah, they don't know who the fucking guy like, is. Like, less people know what? who the Chunky is than know who the fugitive is. And he's, not part, of, he's yeah. not part of the bit, so it's Chunky. Can we go there with a camera right now in front of the studio and just start and harassing just, people? Uh, it's Chunky. It's Chunky. chunky. Just tell people. Chunky's the fugitive. And people go, what? I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> well, no, uh, could, don't could you guys call uh, our old radio station? You probably still have the number. I'm sure they didn't change the numbers. And just over and over go. It's chunky. Everyone knows. Everyone this is knows. Stupid. It's chunky because he's fat. What's enough? Do we have any more clues? Yeah. And, and then go. Right. You let <laughs> Opie and Anthony clues. go for this. Yeah. Uh, the final <laughs> one. Lisa here is from the future. Oh, back to Lisa. Really? Yeah. She's got to be really mad now. She, <laughs> ruined, she had a weekend ruined. Yeah. That's... It's been like nine fucking days. He's probably on a period again. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Something tastes like rusty pennies. <laughs> Are you on the rack? <laughs> Speaking of chunky, how's your floral this weekend? <laughs> uh, Lisa, 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 my little Lisa Marie. You haven't given the money up yet, obviously, because that's why you're calling me again and annoying me. Yes, but you know what? I like the ingenuity of your listeners. They're smarter than you. It's only a matter of time. Just give us the money back. It was never yours to begin with. Oh, uh, I think we need a new mantra from you. What do you see, Lisa, when you look out the glass? I would love to see your ass get caught and arrested right in front of my face. Oh, That's what uh, would make my day. What? what are, you can't even understand what yeah. the fuck he's yeah. saying between water the sound effect and the loud music. And the dumb bass line. What, what? He said, water is quite near, and it seems to flow fast. Oh, she's having a period. period. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah, thank you. Period. Period. Yeah, it's a period thing. Water is quite near, and it seems to flow fast. They got all the clues on their website, too. Oh, thank God. A toilet flows fast. I'm sure they tell everyone. We got all our clues Chunky on the website. Chunky probably takes some big shits. A sinking radio station flows fast. <laughs> 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 a sinking shit. Right, yes. Rats are leaving the sinking ship that is now FM. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a fugitive, even though I work for the station, because it's obviously someone that works for the station, I would really make it hurt. Yeah, I would really start making it hurt. Hi, Lisa. This is the pit. Uh, all right, look. It's, uh, I'm, I'm a fucking intern. I've been doing this. I really have the money, and I'm just leaving town. It's over. It's more than I'd get paid anyway, so fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck the station. Fuck the GM. Fuck everybody. Get your own fucking coffee, you cunt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> The last cup of coffee I'm getting you, fuck you, I'm leaving. God damn, is that great. <laughs> All right, well, Sam it's, will keep us really up to date on the future. That this shit yes. goes I'll on. Keep, I'll keep following the story. It still goes on. Like, the, the guy that said it uh, the best was, that is 1979 radio. I, I, actually, people were like, oh, let me get caught up in this whole thing. Probably even earlier, earlier yeah. man. Like yeah. When, when the fucking, Boss jocks when the and fucking shit. cousin Brucey's were yep. happening. We were saving that for the Pittsburgh Pirate Parade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But there is literally, literally nobody in this city that's talking about this Dude, promotion. Dude, I swear to you, that's the first time I've heard nothing. And we're in the business. business. For weeks. No. Weeks. What? For real? It's since the Yankee parade. <laughs> since the Yankee that's parade. That's why if we go outside there with cameras and just start tackling them, people and going, are you the future? <laughs> you know, look, it's some kind of radio bit. I'm trying to win money. I didn't mean to hit that lady. <laughs> just lawsuits stacking up. <laughs> it's it's chunky. Oh, enough. Definitely it's chunky. Be chunky. Yeah. And then, then there'll be a whole thing. Oh, I, 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 I was doing it because I had uh... <laughs> I can't wait to hear the thrilling conclusion. <laughs> Look, uh... it's been three weeks, two days. You ruined two weekends <laughs> and nine <laughs> days Look, and a night. Just give it back the money. Come on now. <laughs> Like she can't, like she would care. No, like her saying. acting on the set on that last one was ridiculous when yeah. she got mad and she like she didn't say the like the sentence wasn't you know <laughs> stretched stretch right properly. It, yeah, <laughs> she was like, "We just want you to bring the money back. She went, we just want you to bring the money back." <laughs> 
Uh, it's horrible. And, uh, and Sam will keep, keep us updated. Oh, with the yeah. Thing. People are going to just be fucking captivated. I'm going right out there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. December sucks. I got to get out there and get Ooh. 10 grand. Yeah, you need the 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, die! Who is it? Uh, Me and Ann are here. Yeah. We're searching for the paper. I mean, I, I've been through the paper three or four times yeah, now. I'm, I'm looking At through, least three uh, or four times. Through all the pages. Every page. Every single page. I'm trying to find I it. I see the picture of Rihanna with her cellulite. Yeah, I see. Uh, I see uh, that the Jets coach cried after the horrible loss on Sunday, and they're making fun of him in the paper today. Joe Biden's a uh, little uh, fender bender uh, going to the Daily Show. I see that. Yep. Our friend Bob Saget is going to be doing some weird show on A&E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Uh, uh, God, what else? Alan Iverson, should the Knicks sign him? Oh, uh, of course. By the be- way, I say no question about uh, the terrorists being tried here in New York. Yep. The Attorney General catches some heat for that. Uh, the Nets, a horrendous basketball team. They had like some kind of promotion where they gave away free tickets and people still didn't show to the game. Oh, they haven't won a game yet. The two oh. New York teams, even though one's like the you know it's the New Jersey Nets, but the New York City area teams. Yeah. Uh, combined records, one and twenty in the NBA this year. <laughs> one and wow. twenty. The wow. Jacko molest rap dad kills himself in a luxury apartment in yep. New Jersey. Uh, what Obama's else we got? In, Obama's in China. Obama's in China. Basically, uh, Sam, what we're saying is we just thought by now the media would have picked up on the fugitive thing. And I yeah. can't find one article on the fugitive. I'm, I'm stunned that, that a radio station here in, in New York uh, City gets... Uh, 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 robbed of, of ten thousand dollars in cash. In cash. In cash. Uh, that during, is during a, a lot of money during broad daylight. Yeah. Yeah. And well, there is what seems to be some type of uh, uh, criminal that is taunting them over the fact that he stole it. This should be front page news. Like, look out, people. Right. Right. Like, look out. Like the city is is scared yes. of the fugitive. This, the city is what? What would be a uh, like a Batman headline? Crippled by the fugitive. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure, there you go. This is some kind of, uh, I would call this terrorism, because he is yeah. terrorizing people through his uh, uh, criminal activities. You would think the media would be writing about oh, this. Oh, I don't see it at all. Now, Sam, any, uh, any opinions on why? Well... I think that the New York newspapers obviously are flawed. That's why I don't get my news from newspapers. I get all my news wrestling from sites, wrestling sites, and ninety two three now FM, and oh, they have yeah, been covering yeah. this story. Oh, well, thank God. But no one else on the internet. Oh no, no. Is there any no blogs one. about it? No one's blogging about it. Well, yes, there is one website that's covering it. That would be ninety two three now dot com. Of course, they're the only ones. Yeah, that would be the sole website. I'm starting to think this might be a sham. Oh, <laughs> what about my you? God, I don't know. I'm petrified. You're still not sure? I'm very scared. Uh, he made he made that uh, poor g- a girl. What's her name? <laughs> Lisa Page. Lisa Page made that poor girl go out on the streets <laughs> with a sign. What if the fugitive comes here and robs us for all of our Xbox yeah. games that are a year old? Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? He comes here, I'll kick his teeth in. Oh, no. Oh, I'm no so problem. scared of Ooh. The... Are we scared of the fugitive, Anthony? <laughs> oh, petrified. Oh, okay. petrified. Petrified. What? And what do they do to this Lisa Page? Oh. Well, they made her go downstairs yeah. from the radio station, put a sign on yeah. uh, that said, I'm Lisa Page from 92.3 <laughs> Now FM, and uh, I love Barry Manilow, which, of course, she wouldn't love Barry Manilow. That's not now. No, no. Jimmy should scream at her. Wow, that's... It's this isn't a fucking Barry Manilow concert. <laughs> well, that's pretty outrageous that now she had a video. That. Now there's a video. Oh, with, well, no. What, why is she spa- smacking she, her ass? Because the fugitive was telling her, and this is the controversy here. She didn't know there was a video being filmed. This video was posted by the fugitive. No way. He was there. He was and right there. Nobody watching even knew. Her? Nobody knew. And he said, hop on one leg. Yes, he and did. And smack your so, butt. Yes, he did. So we, we're looking at a video of her doing all, Ugh. everything the fugitive tells her to do, and New Yorkers walking by, and they're barely looking at her. Yeah, like, they, they don't care less. No who one cares. cares. Why? You no, know why? Because first of all, who cares if, if she 
fake likes Barry Manilow. And second of all, who cares? Who cares? And her. Would you say you know I like I like rancid pussy or something? Yeah, something really outrageous. You're the fugitive. It would be really outrageous. Plus, her radio station name is on the sign, so people are walking by and just going, "Oh, another shitty radio promotion." (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Exactly. Of course. Look at the sign and just go, "Oh, what is this hack thing?" Because that's what regular radio has done to everyone. I've never heard of that. Radio no, station. Regular radio has made it exactly that, where you walk by and go, "Oh, another <laughs> shitty <laughs> yeah. radio yeah. promotion." Nothing outrageous. No crowds gathering nope. around her. Nope. It, it's just people. They're milling. People yeah. are, are milling and and just walking to work, taking an occasional glance at her sign, so they can go. Oh, another shitty radio promotion. <laughs> oh, just some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. Yes. Somebody is on our phone. <gasps> oh, no. Hello? Hi, this is the $5 Sirius 197 fugitive. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. $5. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys, there's $5 missing from Steve's office. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, it was no. my cheeseburger money. <laughs> Wait, you're the. What's your name, sir? Because, because, uh, thank God, you made it easy for everyone. Just like ninety two three now. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of fugitives calling oh, today. No. His oh. voice is disguised. How will we find out who he is? I don't know. Maybe clues. On the 17, 6, 17, 7, 17, 8, 17, 9, 17, and 10, 17. That sounds confusing. we got to have Travis trace the number. Yes, oh. yes, Travis, trace this number. My goodness, we have to track down. <laughs> oh, we oh, no, 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 we had him. Oh, we only needed another 10 seconds and we'd have had him. Oh, oh no. Hey, why weren't the police there uh, when she was outside? And and looking for people, maybe videotaping her, looking oddly at her, you know. Well, the fugitive was taping from an alley. Yeah, well, why there's, there's, no there's no alley. There's no alley in that. There's no alley. It was broad daylight. It's he was open, right across the street. Open air. Like she probably saw him taping her. Look, man. Um, why couldn't somebody else see some him taping and then just walk up and go, "Hey, are you the '92 <laughs> you know, three? It would, it, it would really suck if our fugitive made Sam or Iraq do some outrageous things <laughs> so we could get our five dollars back. Five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. Oh no. I could not get this promotion out of my head though last night. I just kept thinking how horrific it was. And and the thought of like placing myself into it yeah. was giving me like douche chills. Oh god. I, yeah. I was getting embarrassed. Look, I was, me, Ant and I were talking a little bit uh, this morning. I mean, we've, yeah, we've done a, a bit of hacky radio in our oh, day. Oh, absolutely. Hell yeah. but sure. The, but the times were a little different. I mean, if you listen, this is a, this is a good exercise. If you listen to the uh, radio broadcast of us saying that the mayor of Boston died in that, you know, horrendous car crash for April Fool's. Yeah. You listen to that. I mean, you're savvy enough now out there. You will listen and go, who would believe this? Yeah. <laughs> Who's buying that? But people believed it because it was, what, 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. I mean, you know. The times were different. You could get away with it. And it was, we were never handed something from management and, s- no. and, and told, here, do this. If we did something hacky, <laughs> it was, was, it was all ours. It was on our own terms. Plus, and we had to fucking deal with it. You guys had a history of being rebels. Remember the time you broke into the manager's yeah. office? And, of course. And played the Aerosmith oh, CD yeah, early? Yeah, played the Aerosmith <laughs> CD. Oh, no, we were wild. Yeah. We went from, like, coming up with, you know, which, which uh, you got to say is now a hacky thing. And trying to make something out of it, to just just being real, yeah. Because then yeah. we realized there was just real shit to be fucking pissed off about and to do. Yeah, it was a lot I, better that way. I can't way. even count how many times we walked off uh, a radio <laughs> show and had some guy in a suit trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Now what? <laughs> right. You think you can't just leave your your show? <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so. Uh, do most of the people know what the fugitive bit is all about? I would think so. The, they had uh, to be listening yesterday. 
It was a buzz yesterday. I know one radio station that was listening yesterday. They were listening? Apparently. There's, Some of our old friends over there were listening? There's quite a buzz over at Now FM because, believe it or not, uh, rumor has it that this entire station staff is not quite in unity. <laughs> over the, uh, a little dissension in the ranks over, over, the over there? Over the fugitive bit? Yes. <laughs> Are we calling it a bit? No, we don't want to give this away now. Why isn't it on the front page? Is it on the front page? Oh, there's okay. a there's a banner there. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, they got a slick banner for the ten thousand <laughs> yes. dollar help fugitive. us track down the fugitive and receive the ten thousand dollar reward. Now, wait a minute. If they want the money back so much, yeah, they give. Why him- are they then giving it to somebody that finds the fugitive? No, the ten thousand dollar reward is a different ten thousand dollars. <laughs> but but it's, they want back the first ten thousand dollars. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. Yes. As they say. And why do they why do they have a slick banner? Is this yeah. gonna be on the side of buses? Is this gonna be like yeah. a marketing campaign? They got yellow tape. Yeah, why slick yellow you have tape with writing in the yellow tape. Right. The police would tell you, like, don't do this. <laughs> don't do that. You're just you've entertaining a, him. You've created a blog dedicated yeah. to him. Why would you do this? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're really, it is a spin off site. It's really not part of 923 oh, now. Oh, really? Because, well, yeah, because it links to fugitive.923now.com. Oh. So it's its own little entity. Wow. And let's just say, for some reason, uh, after we spent an hour smashing them, Yesterday, yeah, the web guys at 92.3 now decided yesterday afternoon would be a good time to post the last week's worth of future <laughs> phone calls. <laughs> ah, so if somebody wanted to go online yeah. and, and listen to the clues, or perhaps record them and play them. Because you, sure. you might not like the promotion your radio station is doing. <laughs> we got friends and spies at, at almost every radio station oh, in New York hysterical. City, especially. Maybe we're we all spies the everywhere. Oh, Fucking that is it. funny. So this guy, oh, it's Jay from Huntington. He's uh, he's a regular. Oh. Uh, sign should have read Lisa Page, 92.3 now. Come dumpster, put it in my shitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a little wild. Oh, God. She would have had to do it. The fugitive has her hostage. Well, the fugitive has everyone hostage. He stole $10,000 from the marketing room of 92.3 Now FM. That was allotted for the uh, Yankee parade. It was the last $10,000 of the budget, so they need it back. For, for so they can give it away. So they can give it away to whoever finds the fugitive. By the way, no one spends money on the Yankee parade. <laughs> no, a radio station. We've been here for a bunch of the World Series now, wins. And no one spends any money. You just show up. You show up with the van. And you give out you some give stickers, out stickers. And you throw some confetti or whatever the fuck that yeah, shit is. Yeah, you throw your little ticker <clears throat> tape confetti. Right. You you maybe give out some, some of those big cards saying right. what the station's about. Uh, you don't... You don't spend ten thousand dollars. Maybe they wanted to buy ten thousand dollars worth of bumper stickers. Yeah, but no, you don't think no. so. But they can't even do that, right? No, the money was for the Yankee parade. <laughs> <laughs> the ten thousand yeah. dollars was going to be used Just for the stop. Yankee parade. So we got a few fugitive clips here for everybody. Yeah, I wanted to catch everybody oh, up because yeah, yeah. I got from the last couple of days, and then I spent all day yesterday listening to fugitive, waiting to hear from the fugitive because it's he says he'll call it. 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's 3:20. Oh boy. Sometimes it's 3:50. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if our fugitive is going to call back soon. I'm well, scared. Well, he said on the 17s. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's on every every day on the 17s. On the 17s. <laughs> so at 7:17, hopefully we'll get a fugitive. Yeah, oh I boy, I wait. hope so. Uh, but what if there's another fugitive that has to call it <laughs> on yes, the 22? Oh, maybe. <laughs> it could be another fugitive. Oh, we're because just going to be taking fugitive calls. There's other things missing. Of course. So. <laughs> like Iraq's uh, sense of humor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> could be a fugitive. Steve's diet plan. His dignity. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget about his work ethic. <laughs> his work <laughs> ethic. Long gone. Yeah. The lower half of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. There are all these fugitives. Oh, the fugitive has to return that. Please, we we beg you. Steve's getting really fucking fat, man. <laughs> oh, God damn. What the oh, fuck is that about? Damn, yo. Oh, my goodness. What is that about? Wow. It's kind of of creepy. I mean, he ran through it here. He said it's an addiction, and he kind of slipped off of the uh, wagon for a little while, and 
You know, he'll probably he'll probably get himself back in shape soon. Yeah, I'm sure he's got under a lot of pressure with you know, family man and stuff like that. He's gonna so, be a yeah. father. Yeah. Not work stuff. It just uh, well, work stuff. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> <The> fugitive <laughs> has taken that. <laughs> hey, Friday. So we're going back to last Friday. Yeah, catch everybody up because we played <laughs> the beginning of the fugitive stuff. Yeah. Um. Yesterday at the end yeah. of the show, so I wanted to go back and I'll catch people up, that make sure that everybody yeah. knows the fugitive is still out there. Okay, and what the fugitive is about, because some people probably still don't know. Yeah, they're probably paralyzed in fear, so they don't remember. Not one yeah. article though, Sam. <clears throat> yeah, we looked in all the even, papers. You know how lame this thing is. Even David Hinckley, who writes the the yeah. lamest radio the column, radio column in our business, isn't even picking up on it. He didn't mention he'd, it today. He'd rather talk about the classical fucking <laughs> radio station in town. Oh, it's classical music. I would have thought he would at least mention it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, all right. Here our we intern go. just brought in uh, nine two three now at the Yankee parade. If you guys oh. want to pass this around, let me see. <laughs> That's the representation. Okay, there's uh, <laughs> three girls. Um, two of them with stickers. Two of them have stickers on their uh Well, they couldn't do anything because they, they, they didn't have the $10,000. That's true. You're proving their point. <laughs> yeah. That's true. They probably had a huge thing planned Yeah. until this fugitive came along. Who's the, who's the cute girl in the middle? Oh, maybe boy. she's the fugitive. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to we all know her. Chunky's the fugitive. So oh, I gotta, I gotta Chunky, blow up their spot. Chunky is fugitive because he's the only one not participating as far as all the major day parts. Oh, Jesus! Doesn't take a rocket scientist. <laughs> so Friday, the fugitive calls Lisa Page. Yes. You think they're sitting over there going, Opie and Anthony are all over this. We're getting great <laughs> yeah. promotion. This is fantastic. I told you we'd pick up a buzz on this. Really? See, this is an instance of. Um, uh, all press isn't good press. <laughs> Correct. You know, you know, it's they, something, they, they say that. Every time an intern comes in here with bad audio, I have to explain the difference between attention and negative attention. <laughs> yeah. And the getting negative attention is not the go. same thing. Not good. And I could, I could speak for probably all the listeners. There's not one of them. That would actually walk around New York tapping people on the shoulder going, are you the fugitive? <laughs> yeah, this is really not going to happen. 10 G's on the line. Especially with, with that audience and that demo. They're not the type that no. they're going to like be tapping people on the shoulder. Hello? Are you the... No. Because... 92.3, <laughs> now <laughs> FM, $10,000 fugitive. You said it correctly. Because... This is how the promotion works. Just in case you're thinking of walking around <laughs> New York and starting to tap, you know, strangers on the, on the back. Yeah. The fugitive is nowhere to be seen until he needs to be seen, which will be at the end of the promotion. Of course. Which will probably be at least another two to three, maybe a, a month. We can only hope. You maybe know, a month. You know what? And then all of a sudden, wow, he's out there. We know he's out there. He was there oh my God, time. he's in Times Square and he has a yellow shirt on. Because I guarantee the lawyers <laughs> made it so specific, so yeah. so no one does get hurt. No one gets hurt. You know what got me disillusioned with radio contests? And it, it, it was years and years ago before I ever even had the wildest hallucination of getting into radio. Right. I used to listen to WBAB. Oh, at the on Long Island. It wasn't one of mine, was it? No, 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 <laughs> right. no, 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 no. I believe it was uh, was it Jerry Martier or something. But it was a whole thing of of if we play the same song twice in in a day, uh, you win ten thousand dollars. I was part of that, and everyone was listening like, "Oh my God!" If they played that song, and then I, I was like, "Wow, okay, I'm listening," and I think they played that. No, they didn't. They, and people calling up going, you play that? He goes, no, nah, it's a trick. I played this version of another song. It's a, and it ended with, I think, Jerry Martier or something saying, and at such and such an hour, I think I'm going to slip up and uh. play. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like, I, it was <laughs> the balloon, all the air came out and just went. 
around the room for me. Oh my god. Around the radio room for me. And I was like, why is he telling You never oh, know Oh no and I was like, Oh no. You never know when it's gonna happen, but yeah, yeah. I would listen around seven twenty <laughs> this morning. And it's exactly what it was. Oh no, it's the one oh six point one V L I ten thousand dollar fugitive page. Are you finding Well this is the official contest rules page for the fugitive. <laughs> but why is it a different station? You oh no. Have, you can't have official rules. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Official rules? But it's a, a criminal. <laughs> the Fugitive 106.1 BLI Reality Radio. This is real. Reality. Reality Radio. It's actuality. Are they doing the Fugitive at the same time as as New York? I don't know. Yeah, isn't BLI like well, that's Long Island? Long Island? Obviously, yeah. But if so, it's then close enough. The Fugitive mm. He must be all over the place. BLI. How do they know this? Immediate listening what, what, what? area. Well, it says the true fugitive will provide identification and give you a letter on BLI-headed paper duly signed by members of senior staff. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Why? <laughs> Why Wait would he have that? Yeah, why would the fugitive do Maybe that? Maybe he got I pictures of I guess them. He stole some letterhead, too. Yeah. No, no, I think he got uh, pictures of the staff uh, of the uh, management in compromising <laughs> yeah. sexual positions and made them sign the paper. This contest was from 2006, so I figure out what we're dealing with in 92 Whoa. 3 now. So, oh. so this was done three years ago, and yes. there was never a buzz on this. No, but now we're dealing with... A copycat burglar. Ugh. Right, the contest get... cannot be won outside of the designated operation hours, Monday through Sunday, <laughs> 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Of course, overnight you're not going to find a few. In order to be a contestant, must the location or identity of the VLI fugitive then approach this individual and say verbatim, <laughs> are you the BLI ten thousand dollar fugitive? If it is the fugitive, the contestant will be given the the key, which is a winner's letter on station letterhead, blah blah blah. Da, da, da. By the way, what you're listening to is Anthony uh, reading lawyer shit. This yeah. is lawyer shit. Lawyers will fuck up every great idea on the radio. The the question this is has to be shit. Here it is. the question has to be asked directly <sighs> in person and in close physical proximity to the person the listener believes to be the fugitive. If the person is the fugitive and has been questioned with an acceptable question listed above during a bounty period, they will answer yes. And the <laughs> contestant will be subject to complying with these terms and conditions in full with the bounty. It, it is when total you suggest if you're if you're looking for the fugitive you should be armed. Call yes. the police. I would be armed if uh, I was uh, searching for the fugitive. At whatever, least, whatever that means to you. Whoever finds the fugitive should immediately place him under citizen's arrest. Absolutely. Need to his fucking back. Yes, definitely. Uh, uh, wow, this is amazing. Uh, Matt in Boston. Matt. I gotta tell you, man, this fugitive guy really gets around. Last summer, he was up in Boston with WROR. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow, really? Wow. Oh, wait, wait. If How you go could he back not have been that, Danny, I'm sorry. It says here, no person who approaches and or questions the fugitive will uh, be answered truthfully or will win a prize if any of the following apply. They have done so outside of the bounty period, outside of the designated hours of operation. The fugitive is traveling in private transport. Of course. The fugitive is in a private residence or place of accommodation. The fugitive, uh, the person is ineligible to enter, or uh, there is one person who has been appointed as the fugitive. The f it's all, like you said, lawyer It's speak. all lawyer crap. So that means if he's in a restaurant, you can't ask him. You can say no. He just lie. He just has to be on the streets or something. Yes, he has to be in a public. Uh, that's so dumb. No liability for injuries, losses, damages of any kind suffered by participants. This there is how is. desperate regular radio is. They get one idea that they think is good, and then they just spread it around the radio community. No one's thinking for themselves anymore. No one in New York City they should be thinking for themselves. This, this is the big, uh, the big market in radio. This isn't Des Moines, Iowa. Not Why to make fun of you. Uh, why would Des Moines, Iowans out there? The number one market take contests from markets lower than number one that didn't work in those markets. Yeah, I, this is the first I'm hearing of, of this uh, promotion. I try to stay up on this shit, and you're telling me it happened three years ago. No clue. 
All right, let's get into the audio, yeah, Anthony. Hello. The uh, fugitive is out there, though. All right, so all kidding aside, it's our old station, ninety-two-three. Now it, it's a fugitive stole ten thousand dollars, and now you get to hear a lot of bad acting and just horrible fucking promotion. Here. <laughs> By the way, Kevin from Connecticut says, "Google ten thousand dollar fugitive." There are like thirty-five results of the same bit. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Hot ninety-eight point one. Why the fugitive struck there as well? Oh my god! Not hot. 98.1. How does this hacky fucking contest now I'm just get getting mad <laughs> into so many stations? The PDs should be strung up. Strung up for fucking going along with this. Oh my gosh, not original 106 FM. The fugitive struck there as well. Wow. This is And there it is, terms and conditions, and it's pages of legalese at the end of this. And terms was... and conditions. I'm embarrassed to be part of this. If fucking you don't business. ask, you can't win, it says. That's ridiculous. That's just line. That was just March of this year. And uh who is this? Oh no. Galaxy no. one oh two has the fugitive Manchester. It's the oh, same it's the <laughs> same logo and everything. Manchester's number one for dance and R and B. And and the fugitive. He struck worldwide. He's in the UK as well. No way. Look at that. Manchester. That's incredible. We got How could he travel country to country without getting stopped by customs or something? We got to completely take down regular radio. We got to fucking just destroy it. The fugitive destroy it. has a lot of money. We th I thought ten grand. All right, that's a lot of money. But you know something? You can't live off of it. This guy's up to like hundreds oh, of no. thousands of dollars. Did he struck Saskatoon as well? Yes, Saskatoon. he did. Oh, no. C95. At Saskatoon's number one hit music station? Saskatoon! <laughs> Not Saskatoon! <laughs> and then now the phones are lit. He are, <laughs> he struck in Austin <laughs> last no. summer. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Cash in Texas. Cash. Yeah. Hey. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey, man. The, the same fugitive was in Texas last, I don't know if it was last <laughs> fall or last summer, but the only thing they did different was they didn't, they didn't put the poor bitch out on the street with a sign, but same stupid game. Yeah. This fugitive. I, l I love how 97.5 <laughs> Eagle Country couldn't afford to yeah. go all in with the the, the uh, promotion. They have the five thousand dollar future. <laughs> yes, he's on a discount. <laughs> Maybe there wasn't a, as much cash in the promotions office to steal. <laughs> no, not at the country station. No, <laughs> one of their big sponsors is Mohawk Bingo Palace. <laughs> yeah, oh. they oh, took our boy. five thousand dollars. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh no, this is a real problem. This guy is a serial robber. He certainly is. He's got to be taken off the streets. He's just a burglar out there, burglarizing radio yes. stations across the world. I this wouldn't tap him on the shoulder. If if you know who the fugitive is, I would uh, definitely uh, alert the authorities. Yes. And point at him and go, oh. that man stole $10,000, <laughs> and he should be taken into or, custody, or, sir. Immediately. Or I would suggest you punch him in the face because, you know, uh -huh. he is a fugitive, and he needs to be stopped immediately. Oh, YouTube no. video section. MediaSanaZ.com is in Phoenix, Arizona, and is placing and updating a variety of interesting clips on this side to share it with the world. One of the most competitive fields in the media business is radio, and the question, how can we capture our audience and add more <laughs> listeners? With free giveaways, of course, and money, lots All of All right, money. hold on, pause this. Yeah, Mixed yeah, night. Pause it. Wait, what is this? I right as uh, I think this you went is... to the audio, I started watching it, so I'm trying to figure it out. Are they this stupid to have a YouTube clip explain the whole fugitive fucking the whole promotion? Promotion and I bit so. with some suit. There's some fucking stupid suit oh sitting there. Oh my god! Explaining marketing and shit, and it, I feel like I'm in one of these dull meetings I used to fall asleep in. Well, yeah. you're not going to get listeners with programming. You need money. No money and plenty of it. Money and contests. That's what does it. Yeah, wow. All right, let's hear this. 96.9 in Phoenix obviously has found a way. Besides a nice chunk of the mixed green stuff, the radio station added a new twist to it called the Mix 96.9 $10,000 Fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> all of you that have no clue what I'm talking about, here's the story in a nutshell. It all started on Monday morning, October 9th, 2006, when Chris Parker, who is a morning DJ, oh. was set to give away $10,000 to one of the listeners. One of the employees from a promotions department had to go to the bank and deliver the money back to the station. Mm. He stopped at a coffee shop to get a booster, and when he came out of the building, the van was gone. 
with the ten thousand dollars. Different what? amount. The different amount. was discovered a short time later, but the money was gone. What? And then the inside van. the van was found, yeah. and it said, "I have the money. I'll be calling you soon." Now, the self-proclaimed Mix 96.9 $10,000 fugitive has been calling Mix 96.9 at various times of the day with clues as to his or her identity voice, yeah. and whereabouts. According to the rules, the first person to approach the fugitive rules. asking him, are you the Mix 96.9 $10,000 fugitive, will be able to keep the money. But to make this even more twisted, the fugitive demanded the morning DJ Chris Parker to dress in drag and stand on a corner of 34th Street and Van Buren, which is one of the hot spots in Phoenix, to get, just to them? get another clue <laughs> from the $96,000 fugitive. They can't even we were there, think and here's what we saw. Oh, we were there, and here's what we saw. Mix 96.9, the best mix of the 80s. I ain't got to stop it. It's the exact same fucking right video. And you have been hunting for the next 96.9 $10,000 fugitive. Do me a favor, give me a little honk oh, here. Give me a little honk. We gotta get out of radio, eh? We gotta move on from this. Give me a little honk. There's no honk. There's nobody honking. No one person honk. Didn't the guy in the video say this is one of the hot spots in Phoenix? Yes. Here she said when they called out a product, he said, He's on a corner. Chris, you will get a huge call. There's nobody there. Cars are driving by. He's just walking up to cars. No one knows who he is. Very scared of him. And then I face the find the ten thousand dollar fugitive. Oh, jeez. Oh, that shit. That, it's so funny to just hear some stupid suit with a horrible, I don't know where he's from accent, uh, describing this horrid promotion. But he, he thinks he's, like, like helping the promotion along. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> helping. I can't believe he's uh, stalling a van, too. Well, he uh, he left the van, though. I yeah. wonder if they dusted it for prints and Ugh. did, like, some forensics on it, trying to find some hair fibers. This future is very tricky. He must have worn gloves. Mm. Well, we got uh, 92.3 now doing the fugitive thing. We got Lisa Page. This is from Friday? Yes, oh. from Friday morning. All right. This. All right, so here's what we know about oh. the person who stole the $10,000. That they have no soul. I don't like you very much. Oh, don't worry. The feeling is very mutual. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to this business? Frustrated that he won't give the money back? It's dead. It, this business is Look, there's dead. There's always been hacks. I understand that. But now it's just horrendous. How would a station... Why would she give a <laughs> shit? I don't understand how a station could, could Google this. If yeah. they're approached with it and go like, all right, there's this $10,000 fugitive uh, uh, bit we want to do. And then it's like, okay, let me Google this and see how many stations have done it. Watch video and, and go, yeah, that's what we need. See you later, Z100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, what happened, uh -oh. Danny? Oh, Danny, whoa. what? What do you got? I found a YouTube video. Yeah. A video surveillance of the heist of the $10,000 from Mix 94.7. Where is oh, Mix 94.7? Wow. I, uh, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> How All long right. is this? All right, no, so, All right, this thank is security God. footage. So I that's guess. Above. You see a car oh, okay. pulling into a parking spot. Car Probably. pulls in. Right. Looks right. Like I guess this is the money being being delivered maybe to the station. I guess. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Somebody's getting out of the vehicle. Yep. All right. They they close the door. They're walking uh, in. Now they're out of camera view. Thank and, God for this surveillance camera. Oh, maybe the money's still in the car. Wait, who's that? Who's That's that a different now? guy. Somebody's walking up to the car, in a <gasps> reaching in the window, but, and pulling oh, out a suitcase. No. Oh, no, and just walking slowly away. That's the station's money. Oh, wow. The fucking idiot goes like this, like he's, he's setting his alarm. Press but, conference. But the window's open. What's the press conference? Oh, my God. Oh, no. There, there's a press conference. No, there isn't a press conference. For Mix 94.7. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh there's some press. Okay. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is Mix right. 94.7 spokesperson. <laughs> this is great. There are. Oh, by the way, don't get confused. We're changing call letters left and right because everyone oh. is doing the same stupid promotion. Everyone's doing this. And this, this guy now, there's one of the suits. He's just walked in to give the press conference, I guess, on the missing money. There, The press is there. Yes. But the press seems to be uh, interns and station workers. Maybe a total of eight of them. <laughs> I think it's the press. Uh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't see one local news uh, station no, there's at the press no conference. No, there's no news there. It's just fake people. They it's have, like the big, giant press people at wrestling uh, yeah. press conferences. They had Talking a, about Vince. They had to get all their uh, microphones from the production studio and yeah. stuff just to make it look good. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah. one's getting their work They all have <laughs> notepads. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, do they? Yes. Let's hear the press conference. All right, here we go. Press conference. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming. I want to thank you very much. I want to hear the story come. so far. Uh, this morning, during the JB and Sandy morning show, uh, <laughs> Digits went to collect the $10,000 for a contest to place into the mix 94.7 $10,000 cash vault. Uh, he made a stop along the way back to the station, and the money was taken from his car. Uh, I'll take some questions. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> is it true that Digits is going to be fired? I cannot talk about that at this moment. Oh, no. Is there a surveillance video of the theft? Uh, yes, there is, and we will be making that available as soon as possible. What's going to happen to the cash vault contest? Looks like it's going to have to be suspended at this time. Oh. Do we know who did it? Are there any suspects? Uh, yes, there is, but I cannot disclose that at this time. Oh. I want to thank you all oh. very much. Oh, wow. Oh, that's it? Why couldn't they have the interns dress uh, as reporters better? This, this, Did you know I this? am fucking embarrassed. Why is there, there is not, a TV camera there? Why No there, one with a microphone. It's old school reporters yeah, with a notepad. There wasn't one. You <laughs> can't even fucking do it right. There wasn't one microphone or a place to plug in a microphone. <laughs> if you're going to commit, commit. This is a big coincidence that they have a surveillance tape. Because on 92.3 Now FM's webpage, yeah. Yeah. they also have a surveillance oh, thank tape God. on the $10,000 Fugitive blog. Thank they do. God. They have a surveillance now, tape. Now, that would be of the office because yes. I, 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 the MOs are all different. Sometimes it's stealing a van. Sometimes it's reaching into a car that's parked um, at the station. Sometimes it's at a coffee place. Here's security footage. Security footage oh, from what? 923 yeah. now? Yes. Offices of XRK. See? There, there it is. Okay. Well, who's that guy? Somebody's just skulking in with um, a hoodie on. And they. they well, well, I guess they it's got not chunky because this guy's thin. Could be Buster, the guy who. Well, Buster did originally pirate his radio show and then know. they gave him. I don't one. know who he is. He's the night yes. guy. Oh, Buster. he's the guy's. All oh, right. He did a pirate radio show oh, and they gave him boy. the night shift. Right. Oh, boy. Look at that. All the security cam. I like how the security cameras are kind of moving, shaking like a handheld fucking. Right. They can't you even get, do get a tripod. <laughs> they can't even fucking. Get a tripod. So it's holding If it's a security camera. camera, it wouldn't move, you fucking dope. Look, it's moving. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> idiot. I think he even saw it in the reflection in the window. Right. Oh, All right. now he's in an office stealing the money. There's in the, the office. Oh, no. What? I mean, it's obvious there's a 923 Now sign right there. So yes, that's the yes, promotions Sam, office. Right. It's so obvious. Yeah, front and All side. Right. That's our money. And uh, so it's a... Wait, oh, wait. He's coming back. He also took something else. Oh, my God. Oh, probably the letterhead. Of course, the letterhead. And there's the um, person standing with the camera in the reflection in the window. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of the security footage. It's actually a guy with a camera. You can see his reflection. Like it's moving, <laughs> it's moving, it's like it's just moving around. <laughs> just, it's a guy on a stool. <laughs> they can't. They can't even come in and do it right. Uh, they can do it. Do it right. All right. Let's get to Lisa Page. So. This is Friday, the fugitive calling her show. All right, so here's what we know about the person who stole the $10,000. That they have no soul. I don't like you very much. Oh, don't worry, the feeling's very mutual. And now everything that Tic Tac has been telling me about you. What the hell has he been saying about me? Oh, he doesn't like you very much either, but that's another story. Well, I'll deal with him at 3 o'clock. Here's the deal. 
teach me a lesson over the phone? I'm scared. Oh, honey, so young, so dumb. Don't call me honey, you Whoa, <laughs> wow. We all start with one, and this, out sharing in school. My first friend, their name was Aaron. Ask anyone you know whose name is Aaron. I'll talk to you at one o'clock. So your first friend's name was Aaron? Hello? Hello? The boat. Oh, boy. Thank God that on live radio, they had time to throw that beep in over her curse. Yes. <laughs> Thank God <laughs> somebody was there to yeah, hit that's, the beep. That guy's quick. Yeah. You didn't even get the first letter out of that Dude. cuss word. Oh, my God. The first thing they need to do is m make the fugitive so he can understand what he's saying. Yeah. He yep. said his first name was, his first well, friend's name was... Aaron. Oh, whatever. Yeah. And then uh, Tic Tac sees Lisa Page with the Barry Manilow sign. But he then, doesn't know what's going on. Then hears from the future. Why? Because he sees, he comes to work for his shift, and Lisa Page is outside with this I heart Barry Manilow sign. He's going, what the heck is going How on? How would he not know that the fugitive is doing this? Maybe he wasn't listening to the radio. I don't know. <laughs> How she talk? She <laughs> <laughs> Why are we trying to make rhyme? New York's new hit music channel, 92.3 Now. I am Tic Tac. This is the Freak Show. So what happened to Lisa, Toro? Dude, I was walking in and she had a big sign saying, I am Lisa Page and I love Barry Manilow. So why was she freaking out? Something's going on with this All right, hold on. guy. Is so why is she freaking out? Well, obviously she doesn't want to be sitting outside <laughs> with a fucking Barry Manilow sign yeah. on you dope. Oh, God, who told her to do that? And how did the she fugitive. feel? No, no, I mean, really. Oh. Management. Management was like, all right, now you got to do the thing. See, all the other stations have done this. You got to go out with a sign in some kind of ridiculous right. situation. Oh, C100 man. may have Elvis Duran and Ryan Seacrest, but 923 now has the fugitive and commercial free Mondays. <laughs> and Tic Tac. <laughs> and Tic Tac and the freak show. <laughs> But nothing freaky's happening. No. I, you can't do anything on regular radio hate anymore. This. I hate. Don't forget this. about their pirate radio show at night. Yes, Buster. Buster. Who started his night show by hacking in and doing a pirate radio show, and then they decided to make him oh, their wait. full time. Okay, hold on. Hold hold on. on. Hold on. <laughs> we have another press conference. We got a, a, a BLI press conference. This one includes. Uh, it says breaking news live on the bottom of the screen. Must be from a news broadcast. Well, no, BLI. it's not. Uh, what do you think? It's just a template in a and, movie editor? And there's, yes. <laughs> and there seems to be a uh, a security guy, a uniformed security guy, next to uh -huh. the gentleman that will be giving the press conference. Look how lame. They found one poster. With the giant <laughs> fucking banner that's hung crooked on the wall <laughs> right, behind cause, him. Because they didn't have time to set it up right. And again, <laughs> I'm the sure fake the, press. The GM was too busy yelling at the, his salespeople, telling them to get sell it, more. Get their numbers up. <laughs> Overall, going to be fired. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see. <laughs> Good morning, press. Good morning. As you know, this morning at 7 a.m. on one BLI, $10,000 was stolen from the BLI van. Big Randy has lost the money, and someone who calls themselves the fugitive has the money. I'm here to answer a few questions. I can't answer and get into too many details, but I'll take a few questions from the press right now. That's why the police are there. Yes. Do you know who stole the money? We do not know who it is. The person's called the fugitive. And they're going to give out more clues. I think they're playing a game with us. More questions. <laughs> <He's so laughs> mad. Yes, in the front. That's right. Where did that happen? It happened on Deer Park Ave. I can't tell you exactly <laughs> where Big Randy went to get a cup of coffee. Uh, wine dance. The fugitive came into the vehicle. Yeah, why can't and you say money. exactly where you? Yeah. Came. Uh, yes. Uh, what does the fugitive look like? The fugitive. We don't know if it's a male or a female. Tall, short. We're looking for a surveillance camera video. Oh, of course. Try to find that to see if we can get more information. <laughs> this is a different right. station. Uh, yes, man in the suit in the back. Was Big Randy injured? Big Randy is fine. Another question, Thank please. God. Thank God. Who the fuck is Big Randy? Any idea where the fugitive is hiding? We don't know, but we're going to hunt him down. We're going to find him. We're going to find the BLI $10,000 fugitive, and that money deserves <laughs> to be somewhere in Long Island for a BLI listener. No further questions. Uh, uh, why? Why? Why does it deserve to be? <laughs> this, is, this is not the fugitive station. It's the people station. 
Wow, that's a twenty thousand dollar fugitive. Oh, the fugitive was daring that day. Wow, wow. that radio station's doing a little better. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, this press conference has definitely went viral, considering it three hundred and seventy-two YouTube views. <laughs> wow, <laughs> three hundred and seventy-two. Now, what am they I were really hoping at here? all their listeners would flood to the fucking YouTube? Oh yeah. Video. What am I looking at here? This says BLI twenty thousand dollar fugitive captured. Oh, oh well, no. That's three minutes of joy. Uh, no, <laughs> I can't deal with three minutes. Come on, I want to hear if it's... I can't do this three minutes. This is June 7, 2007. So two years ago. No clue. What's your name? Michelle. Michelle, you just won $20,000. Why does a fugitive have a mic? Have you guys been hunting around? Yes. Yeah. Where'd you go today? I, I was thinking like Spring Harbor. Today, but I never went. And I heard the last of them. That's Northport. Like, yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Big pauses. Oh my God. That's all we need to say. The Fugitive yeah. now has a, a, a radio station microphone. Yeah, he's was, got a mic. And he's really, really anti-climax. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you just won. What did, what did you say? Yes, I'm the fugitive. Here, here's an envelope. Bye. I work for the station. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I am the fugitive. Police! Police! <laughs> Lame, lamest contest ever. At least oh, when. What do you think? Lame, it, as far as high profile contests yeah, yeah, go, it's yeah. right up there, man. At and least it's right up there. Unbelievable. At least when wrestling does fake press conferences, you get to see a car blow up or something. Exactly. Right. You know, or a midget get killed or and something. Big <laughs> fucking bicep guys yeah. holding cameras. <laughs> well, let's get the latest audio from 923 now and their fugitive. Yeah. Here's, here's the it's a different fugitive. Of course. New York's new hit music channel, 92.3 Now. I am Tic Tac. This is the Freak Show. So what happened to Lisa, Carl? <laughs> I was walking in and she had a big sign saying, I am Lisa Page and I love Barry Manilow. So why was she freaking out? Something's going on with All this right, fugitive hold on. guy. Is the fugitive on the phone? Yep. Hello. <laughs> hey, fugitive, I want to know what you did to Lisa. She left here freaking out. Well, Lisa needed a little lesson. And you, I'm kind of on the fence about you. You tried a little trickery last night. Here's the deal. If you try anything stupid like that again, I'll have you dancing in the middle of Grand Central Station in a leotard like Lady Gaga if you screw around with me again. But I sent you a little gift. Do you see what I put on YouTube? I was, I was watching Lisa. She's fun to watch. Wait a minute, you were watching Lisa what? do her sign with Barry Manilow? The entire time. Oh, it oh. says Lisa Page loves Barry Manilow. You posted it? I nigh. <laughs> I nigh. Wow, he was very surprised that... Yeah. <laughs> See, he didn't really know there was a video, but then obviously he did know there was a video. Are the police uh, working in conjunction with YouTube to see who uploaded the video? I would think so, but the username is 923 now fugitive, so it could oh, be it anyone. I wonder who it's traced back to. We got friends at YouTube. We should <laughs> have it suspended. removed. <laughs> have their suspended. So that fucking 20 people can't view the video. Yeah, right. Do you think there's a problem if the email that it's registered to ends in at 923now.com? <laughs> yeah, that's a little questionable. Holy shit. So I guess now he's going to be in Times Square soon and no one's going to give a shit? Well, no. The fugitive threatened to put him in Grand Central in a leotard oh dancing like Lady when Gaga. When is that? Because oh we will God. be there. Of course we will. Oh that yeah. has not been confirmed. It's Let me know threat. when that happens. We will be there. Oh, we have to be <laughs> there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get a bunch of our listeners to just openly laugh and mock the guy. Look at you. Yell and what scream do you think? how horrendous they are. Are you the fugitive? <laughs> we should do a prelude to, the, prelude to the homeless shopping spree and just bring dozens of homeless people in to yeah. touch him while he dances. Ew, ew. <laughs> All right, here's a uh, stench on him. Yes. Let's roll through these clips now that we have really figured out how lame this thing is. Yeah. Tic Tac gets the clue and tries to investigate. Yeah. But isn't he doing his radio show? But it is more important. Remember, I'll always be watching, but I have to go. So I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something quick. I said I had money, and of that, I am good. One of my first paying jobs involved delivering wood. I'm going to go. I'll talk to you in three hours. Hold on. Let me. Let me. You got the replay on that? Replay that. Go ahead. But 
one of well, my first teeth. All right, look, you, you you've heard us many times uh, when boss says something stupid, and we we try to get the uh, replay, and it does take a couple of minutes to uh, get it, uh, to, to be able to replay it. Anthony, are you going to sit there and try to tell me that this phone call to a live radio station could have been recorded? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. But the callers are also quick and <laughs> to the point. Wow. I'm having a problem with the horrendous acting. I can't get past <laughs> yeah. the horrendous acting. Wait, so you're saying... <laughs> yeah, wait. I, wait, you got that? <laughs> yeah, replay that. One of my first painting jobs involved delivering wood. Go back a little bit. Go back. Now play it. I said I've money and a vest. What does it say? In? <laughs> in a vest, I am good. Is it in a vest, I'm good? One of it's my on first table. painting jobs involved delivering wood. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. Um, get the promotions team that was out filming Lisa or uh, right by Lisa. Do me a favor. Since he posted this one. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie Daisy! <laughs> Whoopsie! Oh, Why would you be filming Lisa? You he blew it right asshole. there! Get the promotions team that was filming. I, I mean, mean, the fugitive that was filming. The fugitive was filming. I gotta hear that again. He fucked up. Oops. <laughs> That's so good. Listen. The team that was out filming Lisa, or uh, right by Lisa. <laughs> Since he posted this on YouTube, get the promotions team that had the cameras, get them in here. <laughs> the promotion team was taking still, still pictures. pictures. That was just a slip of the tongue. Get the sure. promotion yeah, team yeah. that was sure. filming. Sure. I mean, I'm 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 dire, 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 dire. So we got uh, Monday's phone call, as in two days ago. Yes, two right, days so ago. We're, uh, we're really... I mean, I'm telling you, this thing is still going. It's been going for 10 days, two weeks, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. Commercial Free Monday is on New York's new hit music channel, 92.3. Now, I am Tic Tac. I am trying to find this guy that stole the 10000 the $10,000 fugitive, and apparently he's on the line. I need somebody with Google. Get ready, because oh, who has Google? this clue, I have a weird feeling, I got it right is going to give a little bit of it away. How would you know How? that? <laughs> How would he know? He's starting to get a feeling. How would he know that they need Google? And, and he has a feeling and that he's got this a feeling. Was, oh, my God. I can't. I fucking hate this promotion. I hate everyone involved with it. His instincts are freakishly good. That's why it's called The Freak Show. That's oh. his. That's his freaky quality. Oh. He's got great instincts. He's got ESP. He's, yes. he's a mutant. Yes. I can't tell you how many times... Bob or agent calls and goes, it's fucking corporate is out of their minds with you because you just won't listen to them. <laughs> they don't understand why you won't listen to them. They this know. is why. This is every suit's good idea right, right here. This is like a great idea. Hey, just, we're talking about them. Obviously, they're making waves. Uh, is that really? it? He's going to give a little bit of it away. I went to school. In fact, I'm on my way right now. If your school colors included orange, maybe we sat next to each other in the study hall. Nothing rhymes with orange, by the way. That's it? <laughs> How many school colors have orange? Stop being such a douche. I'll call tomorrow. All right, now, hold on a second. Does that mean he's he's heading to school? What kind of school? Would it, it's got to be a college, but hold on. I went to school. The replay again. Yeah. I'm on my way right now. What school has orange colors? Somebody call me up right now or text me. Wait a minute. Syracuse University has the color orange. Does it? Uh, half the fucking... <laughs> there. Yeah, orange, yeah. Oh, it's a cheap color. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm angry. I'm running out of steam. I'm angry. I'm trying to get to the end of this segment. I, I, I know. I, I'm, I'm so mad. I'm mad at, at radio. You guys should try to find the fugitive. I'm mad at an entire See, industry. When they, when they said, look, you know, we're <laughs> not <you're> in. <laughs> but I'm in. <laughs> when they said, A and I, we're not going to continue with you guys, I was thinking, all right, they, they're they coming in with something fucking big and strong, and it's going to... New. Well, new. they don't have and, a morning show. Yeah, I understand. We, we They didn't want to continue with us, and they never 
got another morning show. No, yeah. but they got middays. They got middays, and they Lisa got Page. the fugitives. The, you know. <laughs> they got the fugitive, and they got chunky. And, and this person wonders why I fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, uh, the fugitive called Lisa Page. All right. I'm telling you, we're going to find this $10,000. The fugitive is still on the loose and on the line. Hello, Lisa. Right on time. Yes, I will never be the same person again before Friday. Well, don't speak too soon. There's still, you know, until somebody catches me, I'm to mess with your head. Okay, so what's the latest hint? Because people are already calling, and you know, I gotta tell you, a lot, a lot of people are out there putting it together. I think that we're closer than you think. You know, I've kept track of what I've said, and I think that I've given you lots of good information. Would you like something? Even better than good. Oh. Yeah, hook it up. <laughs> Give me a juicy hint. Oh, how you beg and ask for answers to this mystery. What's driving me insane? I really, really now I'm curious. Oh. Well, when they find me, will it be because they saw me on TV? I gotta go. What? On TV? Hello? TV, huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? TV? Just play the fucking music. Play the music. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Shut up and play the music. Shut up and play the music. <laughs> I can't take it. He was. He's been on TV. He's been on TV. This fugitive. Yeah. Did they get to make a cowboy involved with this? Oh. Oh. He went to school. Do you know who it is? It probably, I mean, the Naked Cowboy sounds like a good guess. Actually, <laughs> that's actually. Not I bet a it bad. is the Naked that's Cowboy. Not a bad guess. <laughs> Because they're not going to get a real celebrity to do it, but they'll try no. to get the closest thing. I'll probably the naked cowboy. Right. Yesterday afternoon, the fugitive called Lisa Page, so now we're up to yesterday. Oh, this is the second call from me. And this happened uh, maybe an hour after we smashed them to bits. Okay. Yeah. Nine two three. Now, I just got a text from Ryan. Tell the fugitive he needs to give us some info, gender and age. Speaking of the fugitive... Hello, Fugitive, oh. how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Lisa? I am doing fabulous. Really? Maybe you need to go back out on the sidewalk. No, yeah. no, no, no. I've learned my lesson, I promise you. No more sidewalking for me. Because that was so tragic. Wow, so many people saw. Yeah. She, they think she likes Barry Manilow now. I know. Oh, can wow, you, can, crazy. Can you imagine the humiliation? <laughs> I don't even know if she can walk around town anymore. <laughs> I know. First of all, they don't even know what she looks like because no one gives a shit to even care. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven people saw her outside oh, of that wow, sign. I know. Yeah. Crazy, isn't yeah. it? This <laughs> is crazy. Tic Tac was one of them. Because <laughs> Barry Manilow is such a crazy artist not to <laughs> totally like. dorky <laughs> tic tac saw and he didn't even know what was going on so he didn't what do you know think the average person on the street is he didn't thinking? know who lisa page was <laughs> walking for me i thought that it was a little sneaky that you had somebody taking pictures i looked i wanted there to be proof that uh I, that, that i stuck to my word like you stuck to yours i was watching from an alley I didn't realize you were filming me or I would have had my roots touched up. Well, maybe it's just time to chuck it all and, and go for a new color. But right now, listen, if I had a choice, something to lure me, after work, I'd go out and grab me some sushi. Sushi? sushi. Okay. Or not sushi. What kind of roll? I'll talk to Tic Tac at three. What kind of sushi roll do you like? Can you give me a hint? Tuna? Tempura? Nope. Philadelphia roll. Gotta Philadelphia go. Roll. Hello? Crap. Seaweed salad? Oh. So the fugitive likes sushi. And finally, the last clip. I'm just tired now. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm, 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 I'm okay. physically exhausted. Yeah. It went from, like, starting the show and having fun with this to I'm just so fucking just, annoyed. I am, I am <laughs> annoyed. I'm tired. I, I'm upset. You guys look like you don't want to be in a radio studio anymore. No, no. no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going back into tin knocking. Yeah. I want to go back into construction where there's at least some dignity. Yes. <laughs> and finally, uh, the last call. Last night, uh, the fugitive <laughs> calls Tic Tac. Yeah. Right. What is it, Simon? We gotta take line five. Ooh. All right. New York's new 92.3. Now it is Tic Tac in the freak show. Bad. Yes, Cora. What? Line seven. 
right, Simon, what's up, man? I don't know what's with that 92-3 now and thousand dollar fugitive dude. That guy has some serious issues. He keeps on leaving clues, but nobody ever finds him. So what good are the clues if nobody can find them? The fugitive is on the private line. You know what? I'm going to ask him about the Facebook. Hey, what's the deal about your Facebook, fugitive? What's the deal with my face? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Facebook. Oh, I went and I looked. And as of last night, I had 495 friends. Just don't want to make it any easier. Whoa, I'm having fun. But I've got something really good. Are you familiar with Google? Yes. Okay, to the Google nuts out there, here's something good. On the stage at Juilliard is a place that I've stood. Ooh, pretty good. On the stage at Juilliard, a place that I've stood. And speaking of standing, I've got to run. Have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. New York's new. <laughs> <laughs> right in with the fucking... Oh, God. So we're one step closer to finding the fugitive. Someone who's uh, went to school at Juilliard, I guess. He's been on the stage. Been on the stage at Juilliard. Orange. He's I, been on TV. I could give a uh, shit. You don't care at all. I couldn't give a shit. Uh, or I, I could, or I couldn't. I don't even know. I can't imagine I, anyone would give a shit that, would, that listens to their stage. There's no reason Why for this. Why would care? Because they want to know, how, about, how does somebody get away with this crime of the century? How about... Look, we're going to give and time again. 10000 away, and we'll tell you when to fucking call. Seventh caller oh, gets yeah. $10,000. There you go. Something like that. We we'll just <laughs> gave away some money. Just give it away. And play your stupid Lady Gaga on your commercial-free Mondays, which basically means, holy shit, we can't sell advertising. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Keith J. from Niagara Falls, you stupid fuck. He writes a bunch of Z's. Why do you think we want to fucking hear this shit at all, let alone for an hour? You just did, you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, you listened. Hook Shut you it. in, you stupid dick. Want to There's take a break? A difference between just playing it and, and exposing radio for the, the shithole that it has become. <laughs> yeah. The fucking, sh the hole full of shit that it has become. Ugh. <laughs> Phones are just lit. <laughs> what college has a study hall? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Stephen Georgia, go up to Harlem and start tapping people on the shoulder and ask them if they're the fugitive. Yeah, go ahead. We should start a rumor that the fugitive is up uh, in the 120s. <laughs> yeah. uh oh, you better take line five quick. Uh, really? Yeah. The five dollar fugitive is calling back. Hel hello. Good morning. This is the five dollar serious 197 fugitive calling. <laughs> You're early. I did not anticipate that my call would be taken at this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want our five dollars back. We yes. sure do. Oh, we we're gonna catch you, sir. <laughs> do you have a clue? Um, the first clue is that I took the five dollars from somebody who sounds like a disease. <laughs> Virus. <laughs> virus. Wow. <laughs> well, we're not supposed to answer the clues. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be dumb. You gotta right. let the listeners try to figure well, it out. Well, that's a gimme. That, that it's the, the virus is uh, money. Yeah. Wow, five dollars. Is that his pocket money? Yeah. And no wonder he ran out of pocket money. <laughs> pocket money. Pocket money. Because the fugitive stole The fugitive it. stole all the virus's pocket he money. Buy his figurines. <laughs> yeah. That's why he doesn't have Moss Man in his yes. collection. Oh, <laughs> fugitive. Oh, no. What have you wrought? <laughs> what have you wrought? <laughs> You're a monster. You are. Heartless. Let's keep the fugitive on the line, and then maybe we could trace the call. Trace right. the call. Fugitive, what else is uh, yeah. going on? What's new? I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm saying it's Steve. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Yeah. God damn. That is horrible. We have uh, Tony Clifton uh, coming in today. I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Tony Clifton... Um, I don't want to tell people who it is. Fucking, he's Tony Clifton. Yeah, Tony Clifton <laughs> was a classic. A was a classic Andy Kaufman bit. I can tell you that much. Yeah, but then somewhere along the way there was a switcheroo, and Andy Kaufman wasn't playing Tony Clifton anymore. And then Andy Kaufman passes, dies, and uh, this guy continued the whole Tony Clifton uh, thing. Yeah, Tony so Clifton. He's been doing it for over twenty some odd years, and he's coming in today. He's a very fa famous Vegas lounge singer. He's a complete nightmare. 
Because <laughs> he yeah. stays in character the entire oh, fucking time, and he's out of his mind. We should try to get him to break character. That's what that'll be our thing today. No, I don't think he will. Look up Tony Clifton uh, clips if you want to be great. Is he like involved with the uh, segment Moon and understand it a little more, huh? Is he like Moon Goose McQueen? Oh yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> like <laughs> Mule Juice. We were going to Mule Juice McQueen. <laughs> That's Tony Clifton's like Dice, like an old version of Dice, where he comes in like a fucking hurricane. This Tony Clifton will come in like a hurricane. I guess and his, we'll just fuck the show up. Yeah, I guess his entourage <laughs> is is twelve people and growing. What? And he refuses to come up here unless he can bring all twelve people <laughs> with him. He's got his demands. Yeah, he's very famous. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to deal so, with I'm this. so excited. No, because now I'm exhausted from the first segment. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, because that was supposed to be kind of be fun, and then it just got really just infuriating. Fucking, yes, <laughs> to see all those lame YouTube clips of fake oh. press conferences and shit. Well, I can't wait for ten o'clock when the <laughs> fugitive calls ninety two three. Now I'll be listening. Will you? I'm going to try to figure it out. Oh, we got to blow up their spot somehow. I can't right. wait till eight seventeen when our fugitive calls. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't expect he us. <laughs> he didn't expect us to pick up. Man. He, he knows. Man. He knows he's going to sit there on hold for fucking five ten minutes. Well, that's a clue. Must yeah. be someone that calls the show ah. a lot. Knowing they have to hold for a while before yes. they get on the show. Oh. Wow, huh? that's a good one. Uh oh, Anthony. Yes. Uh, hi. Who's this? It is the serious one ninety seven five dollar <laughs> fugitive calling. You're a little early. Serious runs on time. <laughs> Five minutes early is on time. On time is late. Oh, is that a clue? Wow, it's some kind of riddle, Anthony. Yeah, he's all full of clues. Well, five dollar fugitive. Um, do you have a clue for us about where uh, the money is? Because you stole five dollars of the virus's pocket money. <laughs> His pocket money. And we need it back so we can give it to a listener. And and Iraq couldn't get what? Moss man was it? Yeah, fugitive Moss. Fugitive is distracted by boobs. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Um, fugitive says that money is left in in drawer with mayo. Hey, fugitive, <laughs> you had an hour to figure something out. <laughs> you had an hour. <laughs> you had an hour. If you want to keep your bit going, Jesus. how about you use use the hour to figure something out? Come up with a clue. We <laughs> understand it's the virus. We know who it is. <laughs> You've only got two more shots today, so you got an hour. Figure it out. Thank you, Fugitive. He's <laughs> he just laughs at his own fucking, his Fuck own laziness. Fugitive. You got a bit. Figure it out. And what would you do? Sit there scratching your nuts for an hour, <laughs> right. and then go, oh, fuck. Right. It's 8.15. Scratching your nuts for an hour, <laughs> right. and then go, oh, fuck. Right. It's 8.15. Right. Now, Sam, you got to do a good job bringing everyone to the table, because maybe there's people listening that have no idea what the Fugitive is all about. Are you serious? Well, I, well, I know there's a lot of faithful listeners that understand. And they're it's all kind of a big them. story. You're they're talking all already with Fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't, didn't take long. How uh, the fuck? Did... Patrice, Fugitive. Was that good? Mm -mm. No, no. Fugitive. Oh, that's why. Fugitive. Have you have you been trying to say the fugitive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this motherfucker. I thought it was something from the future. Since I've been listening to the fugitive, really, I swear I thought it was on purpose that you were saying the fugitive. It's the fugitive, uh, motherfucker. What's the matter fugitive. with you? Fugitive. A black guy's gonna tell me how to pronounce shit. I thought it was oh, like Jesus. he what was doing fuck? a play on future. All right, wait, and fu wait. It was a criminal from fugitive. the future. The you know fugitive. You know what? And the first hundred times they said it, everyone it's driving everyone nuts. I I I don't even know that I'm saying it wrong. You were supposed to be saying the fugitive. The whole <laughs> <time>. <laughs> yes, I did. I wish I was that smart. I thought it was hilarious. The fugitive. I thought fugitive. it was on top. The fugitive. I, 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 I wish I was that smart. That should be a movie title on yeah. like Sci-Fi Channel. The fugitive. The fugitive. So it's fug and he's a future fugitive. I got it. No, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, I can't look wait, I got at it. Mega Shark and that other thing without thinking of you. <laughs> yeah. They just name it. We might have to do Octopus. <laughs> we might have to do We might have to do another one of those. Dude, all I right, see so those movies all the time now and I just laugh my ass. <laughs> Fugitive? Fugitive. Fugitive. Like centrifuge. Fuge. 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 Fugitive, yeah. The Fugees. Fuge. That's the best part. I had no fucking the idea. I was, I was mispronouncing it all, that Fug whole time until Anthony brought it up. Fugitive. 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 There you go. Yeah, there, now you got it. 
Doesn't fugitive sound close? <laughs> Dude, no. It's so, it's, it's, it's so <laughs> the fugitive. I swear on my fugitive. life, I thought this was some play, play on words. That right. the guy was from the future. Hey, no. if I could now say put instead of what, I could do right, this. Right. I could do this with True. this fugitive thing. Fugitive. There fugitive. Fugitive. I think I got some dyslexia in me. <laughs> cool hip. <laughs> cool whip. Cool whip. Cool What'd you say? Why are you whip? Why are you pronouncing the English like that? Whip. <laughs> you want some cool whip? Cool whip. <laughs> say cool, cool. Say whip. Whip. Now say cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> Patrice, that was awesome, man. <laughs> Oh, you man. thought I made up my own word. I swear to God, clever. dude. I swear to God. Fugitive. 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 See, I can Fugitive. Do it. Fugitive. Yeah, you got it. No, it's not, as, like, it's not as great because I thought, no. I thought it was the fugitive. Really See, was. unlike Voss, I do learn. <laughs> we would tell <laughs> Voss how to pronounce the word, and then he would do uh, uh, Fugitive. Uh, uh, fu oh, my God. Fugitive. <laughs> All right. Explain the uh, the thing. The thing, Sam. Wow. You're explaining it to the casual listener. There's many different listeners. There's P1s, P2s, P3s even. You're, you're in that P2, P3 category with your Well, let's see right how good he, uh, you are at um, P1. You just recap. say, you know that fugitive thing? Well, here's the conclusion. They understand what you're talking about. Of course. But you're talking to the P2s and the P3s. Now, it's been a while yeah. since we've even uh, talked about this. You now have to fill in the listeners. Okay. I am not going to jump in. Uh, I want you to continue, go from beginning to end with your recap, and then we'll do a little critique and see if you left anything out. Okay. All right. Well, the station we used to work for when we were on terrestrial radio used to be K-Rock and kicked us off and became 92.3 Now, the hit radio station in New York, or one of the two. They had a promotion where they claimed there was $10,000 in cash stored in their promotions office and some mystery bandit made off with the money and then started calling the station and announcing that at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m., weekdays, Monday through Friday, he or she would be giving clues as to their identity. Mm -hmm. And the only way that the station would get the $10,000 back is if somebody went up to that person and said, Are you the 92.3 now fugit $10,000 fugitive? And, of course, the person that did that would also get a $10,000 reward Which makes no for sense. doing it. Yes. Sorry, and we also learned that a million radio stations have done the same promotion. Yes. Across America and Canada. You've done and a fine job. I was uh, uh, also informed England. So there has oh, been really? a 10,000 pound or whatever pound fugitive, fugitive in England. Yes. Right, right. Which, uh, Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> a Anthony, uh, Keith from Niagara Falls yes. just gave me my out. Opie lived too close to the Canadian border in his formative years. Oh, and you got that uh, accent? <laughs> they say fugitive? <laughs> they were hunted for a fugitive? <laughs> Is that the setup? I think so. I wasn't Does that work? It was pretty I good. wish you would have. I liked it. Thank it, you, Anthony. Yeah, I think, I think you good? hit it. You got it. But with the thing, yeah, we they, they're trying the DJs are playing it off like this is a real criminal calling yeah. the radio station. Very no. hacky, very corny, very uh, obvious that it's a, a station promotion. And, and they would, uh, on various other stations that did the same promotion, they would have press conferences <laughs> where the GM would come out yeah. and announce how we've gotten $10,000 that have been stolen from us and we are searching for the fugitive. But the press... And, and meanwhile, like, it's it's a big deal that they were robbed, yet they set up a web page for it. Of right. course. Fancy and, logo. And the press, when the GM's talking, it's all interns. It's, it's interns. obvious that it's With interns. They, and paper like they it's can't the afford real clothes or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and then they got uh, the footage of the... You could do it. Fugitive. Hi, there you go. Uh, stealing the actual money. <laughs> yeah. And then they post that on their website. It's very hacky. Thing. The beauty is that um, Sam was talking to us before the show. No one gave a shit no. here in New York City that they had to give extremely easy clues to just get rid of this bit, right? Well, yeah, the thing is nobody knew it was happening. 
Because yeah. there aren't a lot of people listening to 92.3 Now FM. No. We plug it all the time on this show, and there's still not a lot of people listening. No one cared about this promotion. No. and everybody... We did more than anyone else. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> they were hoping that, I mean, New York City would just be a buzz with activity. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where everyone's just, like, touching everybody, going, are you the fugitive? Are, those, you, are the you the fugitive? fugitive? But nobody did, and so the thing just went on and on and on. I think it started in October. I mean, a radio promotion should not go for, you know, Hell no. two months like this. Well, we finally got the conclusion, thank God. We start with uh, The Fugitive calling Tic Tac. And, and the, the Freak Show. And The Freak Show. <laughs> and the voice changer breaks. The Fugitive, yeah, because he would call in with a voice changer so nobody could oh, figure out who he was. I got you. So, okay. And the voice changer starts to break. So the, the apparatus the fugitive is using to change his voice breaks down. So now you're going to hear a piece of his real voice. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Hey, Toro, have you, have you come up with an answer of who this fugitive is that stole $10,000 from us? You know, it's Commercial Free Monday at 92.3 now. You could win ten grand if you go up to anybody you know say, Are you the 92.3 now $10,000 fugitive? This guy's been given clues. What what line? Seven. Fugitive? Yep. All right. Hello. Hello, Mr. Tic Tac. Are you ready for some dinner? Dude, it's not a guy. That's a hold girl. on, hold on, hold on. Yes, Mr. Fugitive. Maybe I should go over to your house and see what you have in your refrigerator. <laughs> hey, is this thing working? <gasps> I gotta go. I told you, Tic Tac. That's a girl. The fugitive is a woman. I cannot believe it. She is. She messed up. We got her. We got That's her. a girl, right? Yes. Please tell me it's not our pal Jody. It, well, is it Jody? I, I can't spoil who the fugitive is. You know is. who the fugitive is? Oh, yeah. Someone that works for the station on air? Mm. Do you want me to? Well, oh, it, my oh, God. Oh, no, no. It's, no. No. It's nobody that we know. The fugitive was, did not turn out to be anybody that we knew. But who's the fugitive? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From the future. I love Patrice's reaction to that uh, whole thing. <laughs> uh, the fugitive calls Lisa Page. Yeah. Because, so. you know, Lisa Page is the... Uh, they don't have a morning show since we left. Uh, yeah, that was smart. In March or April or whenever it was that we left. That was smart. We had really good ratings. So Lisa Page is their midday jock. Right, great. I'm not even me now. Are you the 923 now $10,000 fugitive? And the no. answer would be a big no. Right? No, nobody has been asking that question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because I believe that uh, she is on the line. Hello, hello. Well, well, well. Look who it is, the fugitive. Long time no this? here. <laughs> the cheap voice theory I bought online broke. That was not what I planned. So now you know my gender. Wait, so your chick, clearly. Uh, now, you did not call me at 10 o'clock, so you owe me two bits of information. I'm demanding them now. Well, don't get cocky. I'm so way ahead of you, even if you know my gender. I don't really think so, sweetheart. It only narrows it down by 50%. But just so you know, I'm a girly girl. I love my dermatologist. I love my shoes. And I have a phobia about dirty fingernails. Apply that to everyone you know. Maybe I'm on that list. Um, okay. Okay, and you need to give me one more girlfriend before we hang up. You know I take the subway, but I also drive, and I told you I suck at it. Lots and lots of tickets. I wonder if there's a search engine for that. How about this? My license plate starts with an M. Okay, great. And what kind of car? Sedan, SUV? Goodbye, Lisa. Wait, don't hang up yet. I have more questions. Bitch! Oh. Patrice, uh, your thought? Yes. Or thoughts? Yes. <laughs> yes. Just, yes. <laughs> you weren't listening either. This is, I don't blame you though. I really don't blame radio. you. That's the problem. That people, hard. I don't blame I have you. to say yes to this. <laughs> people hear, I don't blame you. They hear this. We'll get through this. And they go, <laughs> I really don't blame you. This is why you we do. You motherfucker. And you did like a teacher does when he sees a student. Mr. Yeah. O'Neill. Uh, what is your thoughts on your what thoughts? we talk about? No, yes. It, yes. <laughs> I was, I was using you to prove a very good point that no one gives a shit. No one cares. <laughs> Even as we sit here and try to listen. I you know how trying, hard it yeah. is to just listen in general, but to really try to listen and then you still can't listen because you don't give out. a shit? Right. Well, what were the clues that they just gave? Uh, in all honesty? Yes. 
<laughs> what clues? Because that's how we know that's, if the promotion's effective. What clues? Uh, and I'm not even going to... Okay. All right. So we just played a clip. It was about a minute 15. There was a whole bunch of clues. What do you mean there were a whole bunch? How many? She gave like at least three clues besides her gender. Dermatologist. She loves dermat. She's a yeah, girly yeah. girl. Okay. And she has a phobia about uh, dirty fingernails. Okay. And what was the final clue? Uh, license plate starts with an M. Hey, oh, hates driving. Yes. Very, you guys yes. are good. You are listening. You are invested. Loves, loves the, hates the train. <laughs> you hates the, the train. Pet. Loves, <laughs> loves driving. Making yeah. us all look bad. But hates, but is a bad driver. Right. So right. do you know anyone like that that maybe you could go up to and say, hey, are yeah. you the 92 <laughs> three <laughs> Oh, fugitive, ten thousand dollar fugitive. Wait, yeah, they just said all that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> but see, that's the type of thing that makes people not care about something like this because yes. they're going to be like, "There's too many details here. I don't care. I'm yeah, not even going to try. I can't be bothered. Just get back to the music." Oh my well, God! Really? <laughs> I want to hear when they give it away. Yeah, all right, we're getting there. There's still more clues to be given. Fuck. <laughs> But I get to say fugitive four more times. The fugitive starts oh. giving very obnoxious clues to Tic Tac. I'm going to open up my text line, 69923. What are you doing? This is Commercial Free Monday. Uh, the phone sex operator. I'm calling her the fugitive the phone sex operator. Hello, Tic Tac. Yep. It's my dad. He's back in the studio. Toro, she's trying to talk dirty to me. You can tell fugitive oh, wants me. You think you're so funny. And just keep bringing those clues because somebody's going to win that 10 grand you stole. Well, where do I walk past each and every day? The 86th Street and Lex substation will bring you some pay. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Keep thinking about that one. Goodbye, Tic Tac. That's oh. like an obvious... What, what there was is... nothing... That's the thing. They dropped the whole clue thing. There was nothing to think about. It's just, okay, well... Like, go here. <laughs> they're at the 86 and like... For the love place. of God, just go here. Yeah. This is a week and a half before the the oh, culprit shit. was found out. The so culprit. they're telling him, I will be at this subway station every single day. And so now nobody... they're just waiting for the first per per uh, person to give a shit to actually go there. Nobody okay. went to the subway For a station. week and a half? The whole time. They For $10,000? They didn't find him at the subway station. Nobody heard it. Nobody's listening. Oh, my God. Nobody listens to Tech and the Freak Show. That's so except embarrassing. me. <laughs> well, you had to for the show. Well, I still listen. <laughs> the Fugitive calls Lisa show. Page. She's no longer even sort of hiding her voice. <laughs> yes. So they're just... They gave up. Oh they gave God. up. And the thing... This is not how it's supposed to end if, you, if you've been looking it. at the videos online. Some intel that we received... Was that the people at the station, like this is a corporate promotion, the people at the station hate it as much as we do. And if you listen, they don't mention the fugitive unless it's the break where the fugitive calls. Yeah. Because they, I'm sure they just don't want to even Ac deal with acknowledge it. Acknowledge it, right. And the second. Nothing better than a promotion that corporate comes up yeah. with for you. The second that the fugitive was found, all fugitive stuff from the website was totally gone. There's no mention of any fugitive on the now <laughs> website. They knew it was a bust. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. They sucked. knew it was a complete bomb. They didn't even post the show audio of the fugitive being found. Wow. Wow, yeah. That there was, was a, a video that I had to find. That's a. But the corporate guys will continue with their jobs. They will <laughs> never, like Jimmy was saying, they'll never get fired. Yeah. They'll Someone now start, should have been fired over that. Right. They'll, Definitely. They'll now start firing their on air people because the ratings aren't We're not coming pushing in. it. Even though good enough. corporate came up with the lame fucking promotion, business just blows. Tic Tac and the Freak Show is too big a moneymaker to fire How right come now? corporate doesn't do radio shows? <laughs> What? How come the the corporate people, they don't just do radio shows since they are... Yeah, they like, might as well. Yeah, they know they're so smart so enough to have it. all they, this they, other stuff happen. They really think they're smarter than... Uh, it's, don't get me started. It's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. They don't fire each other. They fire everybody you always over up, and over again. You always end up getting mad when we play these clips. This is I hate Yeah, they're, they're infuriating. Because I, I, I used to love this Horrible business. Radio. And what it, what it has become <laughs> what it has become is ridiculous. You're still lucky in the, in the stand-up world. Although things are changing in the stand-up world. They're changing. I told you I used to be funny until I started stand-up comedy. <laughs> that was hilarious to this. To, to, they just to, beat you down. bullshit gets into you, you know. And, and, you know, it's slowly starting to happen here. And this was the, the place where you're supposed to have all the freedom you, and, you know and, and be and, and not be censored. Because the people... And I, I just beg these guys down the hall, don't make the same fucking mistakes that commercial radio made in the last 10, 15 years. The people we used to tease on the back of the bus and in the lunchroom are running... Yeah, we all know that. The shit. Yeah. 
That's why. Yeah. The people that we used to laugh at are now the boss. And, and then you, and you and we, escape, we escape all those people and come to, like, satellite radio or whatever, and then they slowly find their way in here. <laughs> How we keep letting them in? It's our own fault. <laughs> it's, your, it's your fault, exactly. It's your fault. You know fault. what? The <laughs> Internet, <laughs> it is our fault. It is. The Internet, uh, what year, Anthony? We were in Boston, so, Mad like, mid-90s? Mid-90s, yeah. Mid-90s was an amazing place. And then those same people got into the Internet thing. Yeah, now it's just... It's the censorship it's that's going on on the Internet is unbelievable. Well, is Internet censorship? Thank God Holy still... shit, is it? Yes, it is. Well, How? It's getting What's worse every day. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you just go with YouTube, for example, no nudity, none of that. What well, is YouTube? That's not how it was. Te- no, that's the point I'm making. Oh, I kind of like it. Well, go- Google safe search <laughs> off is pretty good. I yeah, I've yeah. been able to pop yeah, up. Google love. safe search. Yeah, you're pretty right. Good safe shit. Search, yeah. Turn safe that shit off. off is, is not bad. There's you, a lot of video sites I, that are free. But I. But the point is, it's a lot different than 10 years ago already, and they're not stopping here. Well, yeah, like 10 years ago, you had Napster where you could get any song, and now half the videos on YouTube don't even have audio. Because yeah. they don't want you even listening to their song on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I think it's obvious to everyone that it's slowly happening on the Internet as well. I mean, it's still, there's still a lot of... Is that going to be so bad to people who um, are out in front? See, that's not going to be the internet, so bad. The Internet exploded because we all wanted that type of entertainment. And they're slowly, you understand, they're slowly taking it back. Yeah, but th- let me. So make- then, where do we go after that? Because uh, I mean, as human beings, we want all that shit. <laughs> the point is, you, this this show becomes more popular because now people can't do as much. I'm just I'm just giving the devil's advocate, and also, it, it's less people who are not going to matter are going to have a no no platform, so mm-hmm. they go back into under their rocks. Yeah. So because people who who are out in front are going to be still in front. It's still going to be TV. You know what I mean? And it's mm-hmm. still going to be internet, but it's going to be, you know, a little less when they start doing it. And I'm not, I'm not a censorship motherfucker. I'm just saying that no. people, people who are on the internet, there's some people who just shouldn't have a voice. And the internet, <laughs> yeah. and the internet should gives everyone a, yeah, a voice. A public voice. You're not right. everyone should have a public voice. Some people should just stay in <laughs> yeah. their fucking bedrooms and talk to themselves. Some people and, should just listen and just yeah. listen. All right. Not contribute. <laughs> Let's get to the end of this dumb bit. So you got uh, the fugitive calls Lisa Page. Yeah, she's no longer even sort of hiding her voice. They just want this promotion done. Just so sick of it. It's such a bust. 92.3 New York's new hit music channel. It's Lisa Page. I got a few emails last night. Are you the 92.3 now $10,000 fugitive? Please. 10000 I would have blown through that money in two seconds. Uh, Black Friday alone. We've got the sketch, and we know that it is a female. Good morning, Lisa. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Really? It's you again? How did you sleep last night? Well, of course it's you again. You just set, is it? You just set up the phone call. Is it? Did you guys see the sketch of the fugitive they released? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Michael Jackson. It's the fugitive. <laughs> it's a lot of different things. It's John Cena. <laughs> China. China. Little China. In yeah. There. Uh... Mm, who else? Uh, Patrick J- Swayze. Jay Leno. Wait, let me say hi to... We're not... Are we going to go back to the fugitive thing? I want to know how it ends. Right, let's get uh, the Pounded. the fugitive thing done with. <sighs> 92.3 New York's new hit music channel. It's Lisa Page. I got a few emails last night. No, you did Are you the 92.3 now? $10,000 fugitive? Please. None. None. 10000 I would have blown through that Zero. money in two Nil. seconds. Uh, Black Friday alone. Yeah, would you? We've got the sketch, and we know that it is a female. Yeah. Good morning, Lisa. <gasps> oh my gosh, really? It's you again? How did you what's sleep last night? Okay, what's your name? Let's just get right to the uh, point here. You keep asking for a name. I need a name. All right, I'll give you a name. I mean, we have a sketch. We have all the latest hints of everything you've uh, you've given us so far. So give me a name, and we'll call it a day. David, is that you? I really enjoyed dating you in high school. David, wait, we're talking about you, not your ex-boyfriend. Well, if my dad is listening, he's a very formal Ed. Sorry, no rhyming, Lisa. You people are getting a little too good at this. What? I'm doing more running than usual. With your New Balance sneakers, I take it. (laughs) Funny. Talk to you later, Lisa. Ed and David. And all the latest info... Up until this point is on our website at 92.3 now. Please, somebody win so we don't have to do this. I don't want to finish this. 
It would, did you see the hint, though? It's a very I formal want, ad. I don't, even want, I don't want to finish this. I know I'm kind of thinking, I like, I could this. give a shit. I don't even well, give a shit doing about this at this doing point? this. You're just done with it. Well, yeah, but we, so we try to make fucking... good radio out of shitty radio, and I don't know if we could even do that today. This is so shitty. You think it's come full circle to real shitty. 92.3 now has surpassed the, the line that it has crossed, and it's so shitty it can't be parodied. Yes. <laughs> See, most uh, the, 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 most of these radio things, we can parody them because they are. They're, they're shitty, and we point it out, and, and people are like, wow, yeah. This, I don't know where to go with this. Patrice, <laughs> what were the two names used in that last clip as a clue? Gretel. <laughs> Gretel, incorrect. And Suzanne. Gretel. And Suzanne. It's like the Jeopardy bit with the Gretel. tree. Gretel. One of my favorite bits of all time. The SNL Jeopardy bit. God damn. This is so fucking. All right, the fugitive calls. Do you guys remember the two names? Um, Dave and Ed. Okay, oh, very good. Fuck, I had but Ed she, and Dan. She said a formal Ed, so that would mean Ed. Edward. So I'd have no fucking idea. I don't care. You wouldn't think to yourself, who do I know that dated a guy named Dave and their dad's name is How Edward? How is everybody out there supposed to know this? Well, that's the thing. They stopped caring like a month and a half ago. So they just... Why don't we play the next clip? Let's, Wait, let's just fucking roll through this. Are you sure? The fugitive calls Lisa. Lisa tries to get to the bottom of it once and for all. Yes. I hope it is. Never mind. Oh, never Drakey mind. Drake. New York's new night to drink now is Lisa Page. Annoying. And oh, who do we have on the line? Well, hello again. Well, hello. So, Lisa, what was your favorite subject in high school? Mmm, nothing that required a lot of thinking. So, uh, maybe a uh, chorus? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? It's time for some math. That was the worst subject ever. I know. For me. I promised no more math, but I lied. I know you like to shop, you know? And I spent a long weekend doing some shopping mm. for the winter. So, let me spell it out in numbers. My first love is a K2 T9 142. Yeah, a K2. And that would be in metric. <laughs> Whoops. I can't give away too much. I'm going to go. Huh? I got to shush. And I got to look out below. I, I don't... I... So aren't you guys Stop now invested? This. Oh, dude, I, I'm I'm trying to care, and I don't. I've had it. Well, K two what? What's what? Is that a license plate? I think they were references to skiing. What the fugitive skis? What does this mean? <laughs> I don't no, I don't care. Who the I fuck don't. is sitting home like writing all this shit down? Well, if you go. Uh, to the Fugitive website that isn't linked anymore, but if you go to fugitive.923now.com, you can still get to it. There is a Fugitive forum, which is just a blog post, and the comments are open, and they it says, discuss the Fugitive. Everybody can get there to discuss. Wow. And they already have ten comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant, not... It's a giant station, meaning they, they have the potential to reach a lot of people in New York City, and they only got 10 comments talking about their massive promotion. Yes, yeah. and two of them were made after The Fugitive was found. Oh, my God. One of them is just three dots. <laughs> One of the comments is just three dots? One comment is, OMG, find her, please. You know, several P's, <laughs> yes, L's, please, and Z's. You might as well read all 10. That um, will only take 30 seconds. Oh, okay. that's a long well, one? Well, yeah, we'll skip the long Fine. one. Yeah, because that's one person that, I guess, cared. Well, most of them are done by Taylor522. So out of the who's ten... Just, who's just typing, you're an idiot if you think this is real. It's a contest. They have to give clues. If you look at the official rules of the contest, it's clearly obvious it's all fake. Well, it's not fake. It's a contest. But it's fake. <laughs> yes. All right, look, here's the clip. They so, finally, so, oh, so the other uh, uh, comments are arguments between two fucking idiots. Right, and someone named Todd Bridges that says the fugitive never said they went to Syracuse. They never said they went to Syracuse. It's just they're just talking about Who Syracuse. Cares? They really wanted this thing to take off. There's two guys arguing with each other. Ten comments by two guys. Our listeners are becoming fugitives from this show. Yeah, all right, let's play the last clip. <laughs> On the street audio, Fugitive <laughs> is caught. This is it. This is it? This isn't, they hid the... This is the big, 
the big finale of uh, the three month promotion, right? This is it. Uh, we're supposed to get New York City and the radio world talking. Everybody, even on this show, wanted to know how's this thing going to end. You know, even we spent a couple segments talking about the fugitive, hoping for finally the big payoff. And here it is. We couldn't even help the promotion. No, <laughs> nobody could. Because a lot of people go. A lot of people said, "Wow, O and A are talking about it, so maybe that'll like uh, draw some more attention to this." No, it never did. It truly no, proved nothing. that there is such a thing as negative attention. Sure. Here it is. The fugitive got caught. You got caught. It happened. Yeah. All right, all congratulations. Right. How long did it take you to find her? Have you been out here searching all night long? No, about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all night long, now. Nah. And by the way, who's the female voice? That random. Uh, it happens voice. Yeah. That was the fugitive. That's the fugitive's final word. That's the what happens. You caught the fugitive. Let's get a word from the fugitive. And she says, It happens. It happens. Would you like to see the fugitive so you could. And you'll think to yourself, Darn, if I had seen her, you know. Yeah. That's the fugitive. Oh my God, she's an ugly this woman. This chick. She's Ugly. What? This random chick. This is the fugitive. Now, why she, would you know that? She looks her. like an alien. Wow, really? It looks like she has too much, too many teeth the in her sketch mouth. Sketch is hotter. Holy shit! <sighs> they did the promotion horribly wrong. They would have. It would have made sense if you had gotten some kind of pseudo celebrity who right. would do this and do it for two weeks. The fugitive got caught. You got caught. It happened. Yeah. All right. All congratulations. Right. How long did it take you to find her? Have you been out here searching all night long? No, about an hour. About an hour? No, what was the biggest clue that, that brought you to this to this area? Uh, Sucks Fifth Avenue. Really? Okay. And what about that? <laughs> Would the, the outfit give you any clues? Uh, yeah, kind of. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, did your friends think you were crazy for being out here in the rain? Absolutely. It's freezing. How many people have you asked while you're out here? Uh, 35. And what what were their reactions? Uh, they thought I was freaking ridiculous. Did anybody yell at you? No. Nobody yelled at you? Okay. <laughs> and, and what are you going to do with all this money? $10,000! Christmas shopping, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make it exciting. It's just yeah, not. $10,000. Christmas shopping, I guess. I don't know. going to pay some back taxes and uh, put the rest away for our savings for my child. I am so fucking angry right now. See. Yeah, that just was infuriating. For instance, I am angry. John Mayer was in town. Yeah. This week. This is a hit music station. See, you could If fly. you had just pretended that John Mayer was calling the whole time and gave those clues... And then ask John Mayer, would you stand on the corner for 10 minutes or and whoever. make it obvious? Or, uh, anyone. Right. I just, right. Yeah, anyone from fucking yeah, Lady but, Gaga. Well, Lady Gaga. Somebody that, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But this is just a chick. Like, this is just some random girl. Well, well, that's what our old station's up to. <laughs> this is it. They spent two and a half months <laughs> building to a random girl. With an umbrella, who what says you, what do you get? they're going to get ten thousand dollars? They're going to continue to just keep that guy. Didn't you just listen? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Yes, I did. Well, what's your thoughts? <laughs> this is crazy, crazy, crazy. This <laughs> guy. This is the guy who won the yes, ten. Got that one. He's you know, so, just so excited. I'm not even giving out the website because it doesn't matter. Dull, no, dull, dull. I mean they stopped giving out the website because they were so. And finally, the fugitive gets caught, and the only thing she says is, "It happens." It happens. And from the next day, they stopped mentioning it on the air. <laughs> on to the That's next great. one. It's fantastic. On to the next one. Yeah. That's what the yeah. company's going to be saying soon. On to the next format. What can we try next? We've tried every <laughs> single fucking format. Yeah. Maybe you're the problem. Start start looking in the mirror. I think you're the problem. I don't think Elvis Duran needs a fugitive. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm That's fucking terrible. mad. I'm angry. <laughs> Are you mad, Ed, for real? I'm, I'm really livid. At uh, the state of radio, at that station, at everyone involved. That, this that, was the thing. That did it. That didn't at least throw in some kind of irony. Mm -hmm. If you were forced to do it at gunpoint or if your job was being threatened and they told you, at least do it with some kind of irony so that the... The listeners Sarcasm know anything. So, yeah. So the listeners know that you're not a complete fucking douchebag. But, um, No. No, we didn't get any of that. If you had had the ten thousand dollars yeah. for your show, would you have done something like this? Do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. definitely. Yeah. This is a promotion. Uh, fuck you. At least you got people talking. You got to give them that. <laughs>
Yeah, they're talking all right. What happened? I, I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. upset to talk. No, dude, I, I, I'm not even kidding. I'm so mad right now inside that this is the shit that's going on. And we get kicked off radio stations for this shit when we know we were doing our jobs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's we were so doing it. Little, you know, no, all joking cutting aside. edge, having some yeah. fun. We were getting... Yeah. Pushing it, and then they they we they, were getting good ratings, and in some cases really good ratings. They couldn't sell our shit. Then they do this. So we'll figure out how to sell our shit. And no bandits broke into the promotions office under our watch. No, that's true. Um, we were always uh, just like very that vigilant. Just like that promotion after the break, we're gonna make believe we never even talked about it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we yeah, do. I never want to hear. So you didn't you, you didn't even have to learn how to say it no. <laughs> correctly. You really. Because, we're never going to say the fugitive again. You, you really <laughs> think homeless shopping spree is better than the $10,000 fugitive? Really? Watch w watch no. what kind of attention we get next week. Watch. No. Watch. No, I bet it's one guy. Watch. Like one, yeah. It happens. It happens. There'll be at least 1,000 people at a mall next Thursday. At least. When are we announcing the mall, by the way? For the next homeless week. shopping spree. Next week? Yeah. <laughs> A celebration of Fantastic Radio from around this great nation of ours. Great! Thank you! So turn up this turntacular radio. Oh my god, I can't believe it! Yes! Oh my god. Don't say it! I'm not gonna say it. Oh god. Oh wow. Oh no, no, no. Are you sure this is gonna work? Do you think, based on my descriptions, that it's going to work? I know you haven't heard the audio. We're going to uh, St. Cloud, Florida, Anthony. Ah, I'm surprised you guys haven't heard this mix story. Mix 94.9. <laughs> mix 94.9. One of the mix stations, because they mix it up. Right, right, exactly. They like to mix their tunes. Uh, and this was more... Where's St. Cloud, Florida, just so I have a little... Uh, kind of near Orlando, kind of in the middle there, Kissimmee area. It's cloudy. Yeah. So oh, these guys Jesus. aren't good enough to be in Orlando radio. No, 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 you're right. This would be ah. this, the suburban market oh, outside. <laughs> is, it a, <laughs> is it a high crime area? I don't know that. I don't know that. I just, I just know that. Uh, Simi St. Cloud? Why would you say uh, if it's a high crime nice. area? That's well, near where Disney World is. Out, actually, away from Orlando, near where Disney World yeah. is. And all that. Oh, I'm okay. just surprised. I mean, because usually we know when uh, big stories happen at radio stations, especially involving criminals. And uh, we just didn't hear about this one. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I just, Vic, somebody, <laughs> this is, you know, Mix 94.9, somebody broke in. <laughs> To the program director's no. office. This is true. No, Somebody no. There's no in. way a year oh, later God. someone's doing oh, this. Oh, my <laughs> and this is happening right now. Oh, God, Somebody God. broke in. They were going to give away $5,000 to a listener. Okay. Right. Somebody broke in to what? the program director's office, <laughs> stole the money. What? And is now... Calling the radio now, station with a voice disguiser to announce. And, and now people are going to think <laughs> that we're playing. An, <laughs> yeah. they're, he's taunting them. That's Pe right. People are going to think we're playing an old October. No. I'm going to say the date. It's October 13th, 2011. <laughs> <laughs> and I. This is going on. No, no, why? They're I calling not. this criminal because it's unknown what his name is. The Mix 94.9 Bandit. Five thousand dollar fugitive. <laughs> Five thousand dollar fugitive. Now look, thank you. I gotta know. Fucking stinks. We gotta explain something very Can quickly. I, talk, okay. This every time we do Jocktober every year, and even sometimes in between just for fun. just for fun, we feature stations that are doing this exact same bit. Exactly. Oh, God. It's, it's, one, of those, it's one of those bits that, that a company sells to the radio oh, station. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. And, and uh, they Lord. try to make it sound so original. Oh, God. We've but, already featured at least four or five of I would, these. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. There yeah. will be riddles. Yeah. I haven't heard this. There will be riddles. And there will be a voice. A wacky voice. voice. It's going to sound like uh, Babe Ruth calls the voice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, man. Nine. Jesus Christ. $5,000. I hid the money in my blowhole. Uh, uh. Please, can we hear some of this? Oh, please. Christ, are we really? That's the greatest thing in the world. Oh. And the people in charge think it's a great bit. 
Oh, of course they do. We'll Certainly they talking. do. Absolutely. Well, they have somebody to stole 5000 from the PD's office at Mix 94.9 in St. Cloud, Florida. The PD is also the host of the morning show. Oh, the boy. thief calls in. <laughs> Sad that we can't give this money to one person. This could do so much good. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, Just Sam, stop it. No, I'm tapping out. I, and I, and we by the can't way, do this job again. Over. For those of you that think that maybe like this is old and I just found it and the fugitive has yet to be caught. Oh, wow. Oh, no. He's on the loose. He's on the loose. <laughs> He's on the loose. In St. Cloud, Florida. He is a foot. <laughs> oh, much good. If you have any information on this person, give us a call, 251-5695. Hello, Mix 94.9. Well, I'm trying to get a hold of Pete. It's <laughs> <laughs> the same voice and everything. The same voice. <laughs> and what's great is that immediately they say, God if you have any it. information on the fugitive, call. call up. Within one second, the, the fugitive, fugitive himself is on the call. call. It is the sky voice. Love, I love how that happens. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing my time. God. 94.9. I'm trying to get a hold of Pete, the fat boy. Uh, uh, the, the, yeah, there's uh, something wrong with your uh, your phone there. Uh, oh. uh, uh, who is this? Who is this? Uh, don't worry about that, man. Uh, is this Pete, the fat boy? Y yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. That's not very nice. Uh, I didn't oh, the hole. Oh, well, oh, yeah. oh. She got him. Oh, thank you. Boy. The hole in true hole fashion. Oh, oh, That's boy. not very nice. Yeah. Shut up. Humorless fucking vacuum. Oh. You can tell in, in like newscaster voice. That's not very yeah. nice. That's, That's some little 22-year-old nice. graduate. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hilarious. What does she look like, the fucking hole? Is she pretty? Uh, oh, yeah. please. Get the First, website up. Are you. they okay. ever, Jimmy? No. Right. Are they ever? I didn't ask any questions, okay, young lady? Well, who is this? Well, I guess it's pretty, uh, pretty stupid to put all your information out on the Internet and um, talk about it on the radio. Well, what, what do you mean by that? What, uh, for, what, what is that? Is this? Is? <laughs> Who is Rouse? I'm <laughs> saying that. Money. My God. You took our money. This is this this is the person. This is <laughs> my God. The, you are the person that has taken our money. What what is the matter with you? Why would you do this to us to take yeah, the money? You know what? You can't be trusted. I'm giving the money to the people. People that deserve it. That's what we were. That's what we had planned on doing. That. That's not up to you. Well, it is now, baby. Listen, don't talk to me that way. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you, however. I'll, I'll fuck you, however. Oh, I'll talk to you. No, because this isn't funny. Ugh. You're right. This yeah. is yeah. hilarious. Don't talk wow. to me like Good that. God. Sure words have never been spoken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She, By the way, her, huh? she, she must waste a lot of money on fucking dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking Tommy Shaw is on a morning show. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. From Montgomery, Alabama. Tommy Shaw. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I was thinking chin. Tom Petty. <laughs> yeah, Tom Petty. Yes. Well, Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Yes. Too. That's true. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Jesus Christ. Is that a tranny? No. No, no. Wait, she, yeah, also, there's some male characteristics there. Yes. <laughs> Be fucking eating oats. Nice, <laughs> Jesus, nice choppers, madam. <laughs> Jen from the morning mix with Pete and Jen. Fucking, ah, she's like one of those smile. She's yeah, like yeah. one of those cartoon drawings when you go to those dumb a people. Caricature. <laughs> caricature. <laughs> thank you. Where they make Jen. one party right, of your fucking head's really face big, big. doing a little cannonball off the diving board. Yeah. Just Jen. The bad acting, though. Just the, the bad yeah, acting. Yeah. The bad oh, acting. Oh, 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 and, 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 oh, oh, and listen listen for all the bad edits. Yeah. 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 There's going to be some bad edits. Oh, there yeah, there yeah, were in the bad. first one. Who is that? Very so, obvious. Yeah. Who's, who's bad? It's, it's the bad. And after it's it's amazing because it's been going on for about three weeks now. This fugitive has oh, been on the loose. God. And still, after all the taunting, as it's happened in other radio stations, the police can't seem to get a handle on this guy. Why? He's quick. He's good. He's too big <laughs> for him. Fugitive. All right, I got you guys' attention. That boy, you listening? Yeah, I'm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, here's how this is gonna work. Short and simple. I gotta get off the phone here. You say you're gonna give it to the people. How are you gonna be giving it to, uh, to, to, to our listeners? Clues. Yeah. Well, it's pretty simple. Cause I'm out here. I'm out here in the public. All they have to do is walk up to the radio station, press the exact word. Are you the Mix 949 $5,000 fugitive? <laughs> I will not lie. I will tell them. I will not I'll lie. It over. And they will smile because they got it from me and not you, fat boy. So they have to ask you, are you the Mix 949 $5,000 fugitive? And you'll give them the money. You're guaranteeing us that you're <laughs> going to give them the money. No, no, no. To the thief on the phone. Why can we trust you? Okay. How can we trust you? Oh, Incredulous. Oh, oh, my God. God. Thank God there's not a hostage involved. So you're saying if we don't come up with the money, <laughs> you're going to put dynamite in her vagina and chop her fingers off. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, so what you're saying now? You're you're gonna call every day at six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what you're saying is, if my co-host doesn't give the money, you're gonna take her teeth out and use them as fence posts. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a surprise>. <laughs> <laughs> and we trust you. What do you mean? How can we trust me? Yeah, because you're a thief. You already broke in here and took our money. How do we know that you're Whoa. actually gonna hand it over? I'm gonna hand the money over. Promise. It's not back to you guys. I don't want to give it to you. That's, That's ridiculous. How do we know who you are? You could be anybody. Oh, my gosh. She's going to call you three times a day. I'm going to call you during breakfast from yeah, 7 to 8, during my lunch hour from about noon to 1. Right. Middays the where they want you to call. Listen. And, and you better answer the phone. We'll drive time okay? twice. You're not going to get away with this. You're not getting away with this. We are going to find you. I, be, I, be, I bet uh, the we're, fugitive will be found. We're going to find you. I, I, what do you think this guy wishes he was doing at radio? Uh, not this fugitive well, I don't shit. want to deal with this fucking shit. <laughs> I so wanted to be a jock that could just get on and do what I want to do. I wanted to be the next Howard Stern instead of doing this shitty bit. And I have to do a, a bit about the fugitive. <laughs> at least we're the first people ever doing this. In St. Cloud, Wait, Florida, what? anyway. Yeah. yeah. We're the first in St. Cloud and Florida. That's Surely they can't thing. be any other people doing this bit. No. I can't. This bit doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> How can they do this? How does a, a guy sit down in a meeting and, and, and get told that they have to do this bit and not go, really? Do, do yeah. you know that everyone knows it's just a shitty bitch? I, 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 only... I applaud that they have the passion to do it, because you know what, oh, me, me oh and you would have blown it. it up. Like, we've done many times. All right, like, here's, fuck you, you here's stupid. the deal. <laughs> the <laughs> station's <laughs> giving away $5,000. <laughs> right. They want to do this fugitive thing. Right. Uh, so a guy's going to call in. Uh, with clues as to who he is and stuff, but actually, it's you know, and we'd we'd say who it really is yeah. and I wish, where he could be found on the streets. So it's I, over that day. I wish you guys had done this promotion back in the day ah, because so all I. you would have done was taken the fugitive call and the whole time try to get him to break character. In it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're using a voice changer. We know who you are. Come on, yeah, Johnny. We know it's yeah. you, Johnny. You work for the station. <laughs> right, exactly. You're the guy that blows up the big inflatable yeah. ass. We saw you. By the way, you're <laughs> in the studio. In the other room. You're in the other room right now because, you know, <laughs> they got the effect on your voice. You're calling from the sales office. Oh, yeah. God. Don't forget, Ann, we were part of the revolution of the rock. Yes, the evolution. Oh, wait, was it called? The, of the rock of New York. Right, that's what it was. The evolution of the rock of New York. Yeah. So we know how to play along there, Vic, if you oh, have to. Yeah. Years ago down in Cincinnati, a buddy of mine, when he would go to these meetings and they would suggest these jackass things, and then he stopped going to the meetings. So then they started leaving them on his desk. And yeah. they, he, so finally he took a pile of them and just drew the big red circle with the line over all of them and went to the PD's office and just tacked them up all over oh, the door. Oh, good for him. Yeah, you know, you got, everybody in the building loved it. And then they were like, what? The PD's right-hand guy was somebody who used to be on the air as a guy named Big Buck Naked. <laughs> And so, so it was these two dumb dicks coming up with all this stuff, driving my Yikes. friend up the wall. And he finally, good for he, him, you know. Man. But it, yeah, he just snapped and goes. I like knowing there's a few of those guys out there. Well, yeah, you know that's, that was uh, back when there was big money and everybody was happy. We got to push through this October because we <laughs> we do have Frankie Edgar coming in at nine. Yeah. So yes, we do. And this is too good. Uh, Pete and Jen are pissed, so pissed that they explain <laughs> the contest rules. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> they're so mad that they have to explain yeah. the rules because the legal says. Right, I you mean, know, of course. <laughs> you guys have to explain the rules. Uh, you're wrong, Sam. This is Minnesota, not Florida. Mm, uh -oh. Someone's saying that Sam is wrong. It's St. Cloud, Minnesota. No, they weren't very Cloud. nice oh, when I read it. St. Cloud, maybe it's Minnesota. They said, uh, oh, Mother says it's okay. You can make mistakes with cities. <laughs> St. <Saint> Cloud. <laughs> Minnesota, Florida. <laughs> whatever. In the end, same whatever. thing, right? Same thing. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Maybe you need a little jacket. Oh, we did the call winter. it the air pollution of New York. You're right, John Q. Right, the air pollution. The point, Vic, we didn't play along. <laughs> we made the promotion fucking miserable. You bring this money back. We are gonna. We have got the cops. We're, we're going to call our insurance company. We've had oh, private. Boy. We're going to hire private investigators for this thing. There, you cannot get away with this. Are you done? Hey, stop, boy. Here's the thing. No cop. Uh, I appreciate you guys' time. <laughs> this, this, I... <sighs> I'm so, I, you know, I want to swear right now. I'm so ticked off at this point. <laughs> and, and I, uh, so I, I can't believe it. That this person uh, that, was, uh, that was just on the line, this is the person that has stolen our money. Uh, apparently, they're giving you the chance to get the money from them. Uh, I, all you got to do is ask the question. <laughs> Are you the mix ninety four nine thousand dollar fugitive? She's reading that, it. That's what they said. <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> got it on a card. Oh God, no! Have some pride.
Oh, God, no. They have no problem. Oh, it's boy. Just, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh no! Why, their why, face didn't. So, their face. Wait, what just, happened? I what just happened, did a search Sam? for their Facebook Mix ninety four nine. Yeah, and the first is. thing that's on their Facebook Something somebody posted is a picture. In the background, it looks like a guy with an erection and a yes. hand up his ass, maybe, and yeah. then some shit on a table <laughs> in the foreground. And the, the big pile of shit. <laughs> and the caption is. This fugitive bit is the. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh, don't, don't don't post duty pictures on their Facebook. Pete and Jen sting oh, on ice. That. Maybe an end person took the money. Uh, Maybe an in person <laughs> took the money. Wow! Wow! <laughs> well, Jack Tober is very interactive with our listeners. Uh, really we didn't, we didn't tell fugitive. them to go there. <laughs> they do this on their own. <laughs> That's great. They Search out the Facebook page. Could it be the future chip somebody wants to know? <laughs> Jimmy, yesterday we saw a picture of a guy jerking off with a handful of shit. He, he was using wow. the diarrhea sickest picture I've ever seen. Yeah, he was using diarrhea as lubricant yeah. to jerk off. Yeah, yeah. Sure, what's wrong with that? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's too watery. It's too watery. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, that work. <laughs> let's, try to, let's try to move through this. Uh, Mix 94.9 in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Uh, the midday jock gets a surprise call. <laughs> that's oh. right. <laughs> Six ninety four nine. I don't know if you heard about the uh, big occurrence this morning with Pete and Jen. Five thousand dollars. We were going to give it away, but it disappeared. Oh. Now Pete told me that this this person that took it is taunting us, and that they might call. This might be them. Six ninety four nine. Uh, that was fucking smooth, in the man. Of seamless. It, right? Seamless, didn't man. Didn't even finish the sentence. In the that was of fucking seamless. It, it's like, yeah, they might call you. Oh, wait. What a, what a coincidence. Seamless, man. That's that's great. Might be them. Mix 94.9. It's me. Uh, it's me. Who's me? I'm the person that has your $5,000. Oh, that person. Uh, you're not real popular around here. Well, I, I understand that. Here's the thing. First of all. I want to say I'm sorry for getting you involved in this, Ricky. This has nothing to do with you. This is all about Fat Boy and Laughing Girl. This is all their fault, okay? Uh, okay, well, that's not very nice, but w uh, what's the problem? Oh, that's not very what, nice. I don't understand. I, I don't know what's going on. Why do you have $5,000 that's our money? Uh, because I can. Because oh. <laughs> I can. All right, well, I hear that wow. if we find you and our $5,000, that uh, we get it back. Yeah, that's true. Here's the thing. I want you to find me. I want you to find me. You know, it's kind of my little game. Now, you're not going to find me until I want you to find me. And um, oh, God. here, real quick, because I don't want anybody tracing this call. Oh, yeah. you got to ask me in person. Here's the thing. Oh. If you're in public and you think that I am the fugitive, I'm the one that holds the $5,000, this is important. Listen up. You need to say... Are you the mix ninety four nine five thousand dollar fugitive? That's it. And here's the thing: I'm not going to lie to you. Bam! It's yours. So, if someone finds you and asks you, "Are you the mix ninety four nine five thousand dollar fugitive?" You hand over the money just like that. Yeah, dude, I didn't stutter, Reggie. Uh, well, all right. Well, I just—it doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm trying to clarify. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, here's the other thing. I want to call the four-eyed bald dude uh, that does the traffic jam. <laughs> Ty James, okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever that dude's name is. Yeah. Uh, what's a good Ty time to call him? Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm sure he would love to hear from you. Try, try between five and six. <laughs> All right. We're laughing at the tub baseball. Girl. Yeah. Tub, tub, tub girl. Tub girl. Tub tub girl. girl. What's it say? A classic. A tub girl. The name is Head Shackler. Head Shackler. <laughs> it's a classic. That's a classic. Oh, my God. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, their Facebook's just getting trashed. <laughs> Coke logic is just post <laughs> after post oh. after post. And I got more info from Kevin from Connecticut. This is a Christian music channel. Oh, oh, no. really? oh, oh shit. Even better. Oh, what are they no. saying? What are these what are the posts saying? Um, we'll is go. it helpful stuff? I love when Uncle Paul touches my high knee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, now it's time to go ohm. Hey, you got the words wrong. It's almost is the word. But yeah. Yeah. now it's time to go oh oh ohm. E-Rock is still fat. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> the fugitive must have sucked on some helium or something. <laughs> Pete preps the bull when Jen says it's time. Uh, almost time to go home. Almost time to go oh, oh, home. <laughs> the money disappeared like Jen's feet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. 1987 called, and it's chicklets want Jen's teeth back. I thought of that earlier. Yeah, there's little Mexican children. Little Mexican children are selling her teeth at the border. Uh, Jen gets gang raped during every commercial break. <laughs> that's just not that's nice. horrible. That's just again falling into the absurdity of it all. I, I wish we could find out who does the fugitive voice, and pay them out so they can continue wait, wait, the bid and just be real vicious. <laughs> What's that one that was? about her, her fart box. Um, you know we kid, but I totes mush my tallywhacker in Jen's fart box. <laughs> <laughs> totes. totes. Let's move on. Uh, the afternoon guy now gets a surprise call. And surprises in capital letters, so ah. it must have been a hell of a surprise for everybody. <laughs> well, they were just trying to do a show. Yeah. The person who does the fugitive, when they die on their tombstone, it's going to read, contributed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and the guest list is filling up quick. People have been calling all night. Jonah and the whales, we haven't seen them in a while. In fact, uh, yeah, I bet you this well, call right here is someone else wanting to get on that VIP list. Jonah and the whales. Hey, good looking. Hey, good looking. Who's this? That's me, the $5,000 holder. Get out of here. I'm not going to. That's why I'm calling you. You know, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, uh, you're all anybody's talking about around here. Hey, sure, that's a lot of money, right? Um, That's a lot of money. What exactly are you calling me for? That's, that's what I do. Do you, do you listen to anything that I say? Yeah, we listen to everything that you say. Okay. Just don't listen to that fat boy in the morning. It's kind of annoying. Well, he's not too fond of you. You look pretty good in your uh, tie and white shirt at the recorded football game. Yeah, you look really. You good. were at the Ricori football game. Oh, yeah, my. I was there. Well, I didn't talk to anybody there except my my partner and and uh, and a guy from Cold Spring. Hey, Papa, I want to thank you for uh, for helping me out with this whole thing. Um, good job. How did I help you out? <laughs> I didn't I didn't help you out or assist you in any way. What are you talking about? Okay, all right, whatever there, Baldy. Ooh. <laughs> clues. Clues about oh. That's right. Clues. It's clues, clues everywhere. Clues. You don't like that baldy, though. He went, ooh. Oh. Intrigue. Ooh. What happened there? <laughs> what happened there? Wouldn't it be great if, if he just if, if she called him baldy and he said, you know, I lost my hair because I have cancer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just wrecked the mood. Uh, more I know. I've got your catheter in the car. That just got terrible. <laughs> I, I, I like how you knew it was going to be the helium voice. I, I thought, oh, I thought yeah, it was going yeah, yeah. to be the deeper one. The one no, they don't, God, they don't even change the They don't voice even have up. enough creativity to change up the voice. It's the exact same voice that every other station has That's done. Just, I, 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 it it's just killed me. when he Because I, I thought, like, in the crime shows, they right. do the deeper one. And then Norton nailed it, you know, right before they ever got into it. No one could think for themselves. Uh, Wouldn't you, if you had were forced to do this bit as a radio station, you would try to, like, twist it and make it your own a little bit? I don't even know. I couldn't. It's just like Holy swimming shit. in a cesspool. Pool of, of tub girl. What do you got there? <laughs> uh, people are still contributing such things as Pete licks balls. Uh, e Rock needed the five thousand dollars for lunch. <laughs> uh, Jen needs her hat removed. Anthony loves black women. <laughs> Intern Matt is a homo. <laughs> Jesus, it's just becoming feedback. He's simply leaving it on their Facebook. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's I love the way Uncle yeah. Paul plays with my ass. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's caught the fugitive, so he calls the morning show again. <laughs> That's right. Hey, fat boy. All right, it's the Mixer 94.95000 fugitive. How did you get into the building? Well, I did have some help, but that's all I'm going to tell you. You did. So are we looking for more than one person? No, no. You guys listen to anything that I say? Are you are fat boy too busy eating while Jim's talking? Haven't you taunted us enough? I told you. How would you taught it us enough? Oh, oh <laughs> boy, I'll tell you. Uh, this sucks. Can we stop this? <laughs> no, no. enough. I told you, I'm going to call you three times a day, and I'm looking for someone more educated than you two clowns in the morning oh, boy. to actually win this money. I'll tell you what, someone that looks like they're trying to get smart, Pete, would be your son. Uh, it was kind of weird last night. <laughs> Then I saw your little Mustang at Cracker Jack Drums. You're out there eating a donut like a fat boy. Oh, my God. Hmm, is it good? You're following me now? Oh, is boy. Is that donut good? That's against the law. The guy, the guy broke <laughs> in, Jack. <Jeff. laughs> what is that? Mean. No, it's not it's against Keith. the law. The guy broke in. Yeah. Oh. 
think he's got any morals at all. Yeah, yeah, I think he's already shown that he's willing to break the law, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's against the law. The guy, the guy broke in, Jen. He's stalking you. Well, get in line. All right. Why don't you get a life and just give up the money? Uh, why don't you guys tell Ricky that I'm going to be calling back? It's a bad table read, right? That's awful. It's wow, god awful community theater so table read. Bad. E Rock is freaking out in there about how bad the edits are because he's been on all these radio stations. Yeah, and, you, you know, can hear, you these, can hear yeah. the edits. They're, They're dropping out. They slam into each yeah. other. Tell Ricky that I'm going to be calling back between 12 and 1 o'clock, and she better answer. Look, don't hang up just yet. Just give us a little more. Give you more what? Donuts? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Well, that's a picture of, of two nude erect black men wrestling uh, with the word AIDS written on them. <laughs> like, oh, that's beautiful. And, you know. and the caption says, Jen is a Jesus cunt. <laughs> We we didn't I guess. Oh my God. Uh, we didn't but we didn't even know there was a Facebook page until <laughs> I already get no Facebook started. page out. Sam Roberts' mom is hot. Come bubbles. Uh, oh, someone is suggesting Jim C can find the fugitive. Ah yes, yes the blueberry probably. is not a standalone fruit. <laughs> horse cock meat horse teeth. <laughs> they have any uh, fezes over there? I haven't found a fez on that station. Yet. No, not on that station. Are we in trouble with the fezes across the globe? It's a slow. Process. I mean, I, I can't. You know. All right. Well, several days well, later, Anthony. <laughs> you know, several days, days later, Dick Henley. Back to our story. Uh, the afternoon jock is still getting calls. Wow. Hello, Mix ninety four nine. Hey man. Oh no. Hey, hold all calls. I have the Mix ninety four nine five thousand dollar fugitive hold on the line. Calls. Hello. No, I'm calling. No, I'm calling. Hey, this no is my old buddy and cohort, Todd Four Eyes James. Why do you always got to call me Four Eyes? <laughs> you know, it's amazing how two people miles away from each other can be so close at the same time. What do you mean? Uh, I've been reflecting on some of our similarities, the things that we actually have in common. You and I? Oh, man. You know, oh, I've always been a fan of your style. For instance, where did you get those jeans you're wearing today? How does this guy know I'm wearing jeans? <laughs> oh, how does he know I'm wearing jeans? Be a clue. Write it down, yep. people. You might need that later on. Holy for shit! For the four people that give enough yeah. of a fuck to go along with this shit. Sam, are you the mix ninety four nine uh, fugitive? <laughs> no. Why do you say that? I just thought I might win five thousand dollars. Oh no! If it was you. And besides, did you, did you say it right? I probably you have not. to say it exactly right. Uh, uh, are you <laughs> the mix ninety four? Point nine, uh -huh. five thousand oh, dollar dollar baggages. <laughs> baggages. You get right to the other guy. Like, yeah, yeah. There baggages. you go. Bag of fucking. Jizz. There are some oh. suggestions coming through on their Facebook. Oh god. Oh, yeah. One yeah. is uh, lose the radio voice. Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Just some suggestions coming through from the fans. We like when people use their regular voices, Vic. I, I, I have no other choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one shit. person, the rumors, I've heard that Jen enjoys the company of darker gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, Those rumors that. always pop up. Yeah, I have mean, no idea. They it popped up about no three clue. different radio shows this week. <laughs> how, how how come it took them so many uh, years of us doing this to finally realize, hey, we could just go on their Facebook <laughs> and just Facebook. destroy it. It's so interactive. Well, it really is. Uh, Facebook became very popular. It really did. Year, yeah, too, yeah. So. I didn't so know there was a got. Facebook page that you started reading those. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. The morning show is trying to do a game. That's right. But they get interrupted. Oh, no. What's the game? And oh. Jen, 748 and 51 <laughs> degrees. It's time to play dead or... What, 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 what happened? <laughs> There's a picture of Jen Who's... holding a, a black penis. Wow, on her. that's crazy. <laughs> she looks kind of hot. Yeah, she's cute. She's, well, she's happy. also holding a, a, a wrecked black penis. Right. Yeah. Might not even penis. be real. Might not even be real. I mean, real. it's oh. literally <laughs> as bigger than her head is. To play dead or Canadian. It's very simple. We're oh. doing dead or Canadian too. Dead oh, or oh, Canadian. Station. Dead or Canadian is a staple oh. of morning radio. <laughs> I'm learning yes, so it much. Is. Yeah. I'm learning so much. There's probably a thousand radio stations that have done this bit. You, uh, you give blah, a name, blah, and then blah. then the caller has to figure out if it's a dead person or a Canadian. Right. Holy shit! They're not playing this. <laughs> Somebody really? posted pictures of. 
<laughs> Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan <laughs> knocking down the World Trade Center. <laughs> what? Of what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> it's Hulk Hogan giving a big boot instead of planes crashing the towers. I like the I've never seen He's that. He's doing his pose in the rubble. <laughs> That's hilarious. As if he defeated the World Trade Center. <laughs> Are you listening to the havoc that the Hulk is wreaking? I like he's got the hand behind the ear cock as he's standing in the rubble at ground zero. Doing the, standing in the rubble at ground zero. Doing I like the, to kick one the best. The pose. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. He's about to hit the World Trade Center with a steel chair. And this is on the Facebook page. They're a Christian music session. That's hilarious. I'm out of time breathing. I bet they're getting some phone calls. I bet they're getting some... Hey, you guys know what's going on? <laughs> Sam is literally crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. There's tears streaming down my face. This is the place that you've never <laughs> seen. Ever. In my entire life. He's totally knocking. It's on their Facebook page, and he's just knocking out of the World Trade Center. He's getting with the chair. You can't take down the Trade Center with a chair. Hulk Hogan can. How did he get so big? How did he get such a big chair in his? <laughs> oh, my true. Even if he was that big, who would manufacture chairs that size? Like, Why would he do that? Why would he knock down <laughs> and the World Trade Center? Why would he celebrate the fact? <laughs> celebrated as if somebody was going to cheer him. <laughs> Everybody was so upset that he wants to hear the cheers. Yes, he's. Oh, that, that is fucking hilarious. Uh, that's, that's on their Facebook. <laughs> that's the biggest laugh I've had in all of my uh, time. Oh my God. God hurts. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got. Unfortunately, we got to move this along because oh, Edgar's oh. going to come in, and I want to get oh. to the end of this. Frankie Edgar from the USA. We so are playing <laughs> dead or Canadian. Yeah, oh, dude, man, fuck that this classic. Is, oh, this the classic. Is, this bit has been worn on the ground uh, as much as Battle of the Sexes. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good. We one. give you the names of three celebrities or people you may know, and all you have to do is just guess whether they are dead or Canadian. All right. Good morning, Mix ninety four nine. Who's this? Hey, it's that boy. Oh, uh -oh. it's him. It's the uh, Mix ninety four oh. nine five thousand dollar fugitive again. I heard you guys talking a lot about coffee today. We're right in the middle of a game here. Can you just get to the point so we can move? On. How about you just hang up on the idiot? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let, the, let the police handle it. <laughs> Five <laughs> dumb thousand dollars gives a fuck. <laughs> and these these are the poor stations because other stations have done. Minnesota. Wasn't it fifty thousand? Well, ninety two three now did it. Ten thousand. A lot of the bigger stations do ten, but the smaller stations have to do the five. <laughs> oh God! Damn. What's that? <laughs> What's a, a, an ob obese white woman with a normal sized black nude with a bed yes. on all, over on all fours with a normal sized black man shoving his head into her rectum. <laughs> into her ass. Crack. What's it say? Uh, it says, "Oh, old Jen here loves to have her fart box <laughs> tongue raped by darker gentlemen." <laughs> The tears are going to start flowing again. I see the you're, you're seconds away from the tears flowing again. Take by all this. The, the caption is, don't worry, I'm hard uh, at work finding the fugitive. And it's a Down syndrome gentleman on a computer. A laptop computer with a vest on. Yes, yeah, so with a little vest nice on. Nice goatee. Nice goatee. Yeah, yeah. So we can move on? I bet fat boy likes donuts. Don't you, Mr. Chubby Rubby? I know, though, that you're a big fan of coffee. And I'm a big fan a free, free cable, free internet, Fingers. and of course, free money. Your free money that I stole. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, by the way, thanks for the free coffee this morning, chum. Uh, and it's really good right oh, out of the pot. Mm. Another clue. Wait, he's at the show. He's at the show. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> God, it's the car. It's my car. It's the car. <laughs> he was right yeah. under their nose. What? The What's tan the show? Sierra. The That's where they were giving out free coffee. Wait, he's at the shell. He's at the shell. It's, it's, it's the shell. It's the shell store. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, for uh, our morning mix coffee fix. It's the shell store morning on Benton mix Drive. If you're near fix. that place, get down there right now and, and call and call us up if you're uh, anywhere close to that. It's it's right by Benton Drive. Right, mm -hmm. right, right by Benton Drive. So, uh, get over there. All right, we're going to continue with Dead or Canadian here as soon as we get somebody else. Uh, it's the the, the oh, fugitive. <laughs> I've seen that one. I've, oh, sadly, I've seen oh, the that. <laughs> you know, oh, no photo, oh, yeah, no Facebook yeah. photo montage is complete without a prolapsed asshole. <laughs> oh shit! I love what Jack Tober has evolved into. We play the clips, we goof on them for a second, and then we laugh at what they've done to the Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even heard the audio in the last fifteen minutes. I'm just I'm just you the money. 
Oh. Uh, and they're squeezing in all their other sponsors. That's hilarious, the way they keep yeah. saying it properly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to make sure that, you know, nobody Two more clips unfair. before we get mixed uh, coffee. Uh, mixed, that's what I was about to say. The mixed great. coffee fix at the Shell Station. That's it's great. the mixed coffee fix at the oh Shell Station. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the Shell Station. Oh, God. Look at those teeth. It's young Anthony. Aw. Uh, the morning show going for another outrageous topic before the fugitive <laughs> returns to ruin it. Oh. Who has a fantastic bank that has good interest rates and no fees? Give us a call. 251-5695-251-KMXK. That's a phone topic. Morning, it's 94.9. Well, if it isn't fat boy and hyena girl, two most pathetic heroes ever. Watch out. I will tear you apart. <laughs> don't don't push her. Trust me, I know. You keep telling me you're so smart. How is it that you have figured out who I am yet. Because you haven't given me any clues as to who you are. I asked everybody that I saw with a purse yesterday. Maybe that lump of gum sitting across from you has infected your brain. Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes, that boy. Put down the Casey's breakfast pizza. And get ready, because oh I'm giving no you sponsor. what you want. Uh-oh, Excellent. where yes. are you right now? That's exactly no, what I want. No. Casey's no, breakfast. Not get that. <laughs> but you are going to get another poem. Oh. Uh, Good. Uh, roses are red wherever I roam. This weekend will feel like I'm coming home. You can wear a suit or even a bikini. Just don't forget to buy me a martini. I'm out, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Bikini, it, martini. He said another poem, too, so he's obviously been, we've, we've well, fast Timmy forwarded. Warren did that. Yeah, they would do a lot of poems. <laughs> but it he did warn you. He's been, he's, Timmy knows. He's been eerily prescient. We've heard yeah. this bit. It's done the exact same oh, every, every time. fucking so time. Awesome. Awesome. So, one more clip, thank God, and we uh, say goodbye to October for today. Mix 94.9 in St. Cloud, uh, Minnesota. After over three weeks of fugitive calls, oh, God. <laughs> three, three weeks. Weeks. I swear to God, it's been three, three weeks. Weeks. over three weeks since they've been doing this. <laughs> He's still surprising the jocks, so they're still surprised. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, hey, we got another call here. Uh, might be some more trivia hounds. Cool. Hello, Mix 94. Cool. Well, if it isn't the dimwit duo, fat boy and hyena girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you got, Mix 94? Nine five thousand dollar fugitive. What's up? <laughs> you two do. Yes, 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 yes. And I still have your money. Well, they have a screener. Your little game is going to end think? in jail. I hope you know. Oh. You know I love... For stealing 5000 I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think he'll really That's go to jail. Probably it's, maybe probation, Especially right? since it seems the station's playing along with it. I think yeah. he has a good defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. the, the, Leslie, the, the, don't they have a phone screener? So he's like, hey... Hey, maybe it's a trivia person on the phone. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's the fugitive. And then if the fugitive was using his own voice on the screener call, why don't they record those so you can get his real voice? Ah. See, I don't think they're really trying. <laughs> and in jail, I hope you know. Oh, you know I love games. From Soho down to Brighton. I must have played them all, but you ain't seen nothing like me in any amusement hall. Hey, wait a minute. Recognize uh -huh. that. And that's all you get. Oh, do you? Pioneers! Pinball wizard. No! Oh. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Uh, no! Oh. Pinball wizard, so pinball machine. <laughs> yeah. People are just posting pictures of Bobo on their Facebook. <laughs> oh, no, no. Bobo's dick has made it onto the Facebook page. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's the cock shot that Bobo posted on Twitter. Yes. It says, oh, Bobo, don't go off half cock. And how lazy are, are they over there that no one has told them their Facebook page has been completely oh, taken over? No. No, <laughs> there there it is, James. That's what That's not going to work. What is shit. That's a guy jacking off with a handful of shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to work. Yeah, now they must not check their Facebook. How many uh, How many people do they have following them on a Facebook? I'm going to guess 80,000. No, it's uh, 5,400. 5,400. 80,000 right. was a little high. Oh. Oh. Dude, Alma, uh, 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 you guys want to play the uh, Bobo fugitive call? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then we mocked this stupid bit, right, Vic? Yeah. And, and one of our guys uh, that does a little radio with us who thinks he's a massive fucking star. <laughs> Holy shit, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> uh, he called in as the fugitive. Oh, nice. Listen but he's a little, he's a little dim-witted. A little? So, yeah, he's, he's fucking retard. Uh, <laughs> so he had a little trouble holding character. Yes, okay, right. right. Listen to this. Uh, a fugitive, can, can I ask you, um, what, what borough of New York do you live in now? 
No, I live in Queens. What's what's happening, fugitive? Yeah, what happened, fugitive? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I actually, the dog had just walked a little bit too. too the dog walked a little bit too. <laughs> <laughs> Took him 15 right. seconds to realize uh, he broke his cat. <laughs> the, the, the dog, it was like, dog, dog, dog. That's the point of that phone call. Uh, is that oh, God. fucking hilarious? Is that wonderful? Oh, God. The pictures that are... Yeah, yeah. they're killing these people. Well, no, it's it's think of the person that from the station that first goes to the site and goes, <laughs> what, is this? what the fuck happened? Right. <laughs> hey, fellas, it's Minnesota. You guys, something's weird's going on. It's on our the Facebook, Facebook fugitive. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam, you're right. Today's October was terrific. It didn't disappoint. We had to do no, one fugitive. Had, this whole week has, has not disappointed. Uh, yeah. You're right. Who's tomorrow? I don't know. It's a lot of pressure. This is, uh, uh, tears in the to... eyes. It's going to be tough to top tears yeah, in the uh, eyes. Yeah, that Hulk Hogan thing. That is really it's fucking really hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> I think that gets award <laughs> yeah. for best Facebook comment of the week. <laughs> yeah. so there's been so many. Great. Plus, mm. what's great about this is that uh, they haven't realized what's going on with their Facebook yet. No. So there's... Hundreds, if not thousands, of comments. They can't like if you're deleting them as they come. That's one thing, but you can't go back and go through thousands of. They're gonna have to shut their Facebook page down. Yeah, they really are just gonna have to start from scratch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this shit is that good? Fucking hilarious. Oh my just god. Just because these people have no idea this is coming. No. No, they that's have why no it's so idea. Great. They just go to work. And they're just sitting there doing their show, and all of a sudden... All of a sudden, a man is masturbating with shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on their oh, Facebook page. Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a guitar. <laughs> Hulk Hogan uh, is tearing, Hulk Hogan Hogan. Is tearing down the yeah. World Trade oh, Center yeah. on their yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. Go down a little bit lower. What's the cow one? That's just a, that's a mug shot oh. of a black man in a cow outfit. Yeah, I remember seeing that guy. And it says one of Jen's <laughs> fuck toys was caught as the fugitive. <laughs> Dude, one of our pals, Puddle of AIDS, oh. he says the best part, the Facebook comments show up on their station's website. No. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, even better. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Then. Somebody's yeah. going to have to have a staff meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I smell staff meeting. <laughs> Where are the recent... Uh, Wait, where is it? No. Up top? Mm, fugitive. I see it. Uh, I don't see it on the main see. page. Was, was no. it there a fake crime? Yeah, look, is that? Did they actually take pictures and fake the crime scene? I think they Google image the hunt for the oh, crime yeah. scene. Oh, really? That's not yeah. an actual picture from the crime the scene. The hunt for the yeah. fugitive. <laughs> that's what I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. They've, gone, they've gone this far. <laughs> that's that's some tape. That's some tape. tape. Now, <laughs> here's my question: Do you guys want me to follow this? Yes. Until it's found. Yes. No. Oh yeah. Yes. I have to see who it is. No. I just want the big conclusion. All right, all right, fair I have enough. to see if they catch him. <laughs> or if he just runs away with the money. What happened? Yeah. We know so this Hulk Hogan <laughs> takes down the World Trade Center. Maybe Hulk Hogan that. will take down the fugitive yeah. <laughs> with a steel chair. I hope there's a, a long gun battle yeah, that is, oh, yeah. Uh, happens yeah. when they track down the fugitive. He actually is a homicidal maniac <laughs> firing at them. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a thing that says Anthony's Angels, and then it's three, three black chicks black that are showing their titties. Yeah. Titties. Titty titties. Uh, All right, Vic Henley, um, tomorrow night at the, uh, what, Bridge Street, Street Live? Live? Yes, yes. <laughs> Segwaying from titty, titty, titty. Yeah. In Collinsville, <laughs> Connecticut. Vic Henley, funny fuck, man. Yeah, thanks. If you're in the area, especially, go see him. And it's Vic Henley on Twitter. Uh, Next weekend I'll be in Pittsburgh too. I want to plug that twenty through twenty two Pittsburgh Improv November three through five Stress Factory New Brunswick. Perfect. Their Facebook is now vulgar. <laughs> it's a Christian. <laughs> Fucking oh, oh no! Oh, nice. oh, 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 oh no! Those aren't no, those swastikas. They're stealing, they're stealing uh, one of my logos. So now what enough? Not a swastika. It is hoagie boy. There's hoagie boy. Hoagie boy. <laughs> Long live the sex bagel. Is what the uh, <laughs> caption says. Uh, I guess we're <laughs> oh, God, over yeah, and just, over again. Have a whole face <laughs> makes another appearance. Have a whole face <laughs> is really hitting these Twitter pages. <laughs> I'm masturbating funny. with reckless abandon and mayo, mayo for lube thinking of Jen. Uh, here's your fugitive. <laughs> it's Robert, it's Robert <laughs> Reese. It's Robert <laughs> Reese. Mr. Brady. Jen has rich Voss teeth. Oh, is that great? <laughs> Listen, uh, wow. when we get back, Frankie Edgar from the UFC. He's lightweight champion. Yes. Rank second. Well, Dana ranks him second of, of all. He's oh, number one of all. Yeah. Okay, very good. Oh, and uh, we go to break with some uh, some great production here from uh, Troy Kwan. Brand new. Listen to this. 